Welcome to All Gen Gamers, a podcast for people in video games of all generations. Starring Pete Dore, Happy Console Gamer, Gamester81, and Jason Heine. Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to the All Gen Gamers podcast. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. I don't even know where to start. I'm really just super excited. Anyway, I'm Jason Heine. Uh, we have our good friend, John Gamester81. What is up, John? What's going on, guys? Great to be here. I, I'm, I'm really happy to be here, for sure. We're really, really happy to tonight. be here as well. And we are also joined by the myth, the man, the legend himself, Mr. Pete Dorr. What's up, Pete? What's going on, guys? So, well, here we are, guys. We're do now. This is a lot of work. This is a lot of work to put this on. We're here doing a live stream, live video. We've got. I mean, Pete, you were in here earlier. We were doing some music. We're just trying to make it a nice, comfortable place to be to hang out. But this is great. Episode fifty. Wow, guys, fifty episodes. Has it really gone by that fast? It's gone by unbelievable fast. It's, it's crazy. Well, I can't so imagine. It. Episode fifty-two is the one Johnny's year. At, yeah. So. Yeah. Address the Johnny issue. So yes, um, if anyone doesn't know, obviously um, you can tell Johnny is not with us uh, tonight because a couple days ago he got rushed to the hospital because his appendix almost burst. So he went into surgery, emergency surgery, and he had his appendix removed. So um, from what I understand, he got out of the hospital or is in stable condition as of today, but he's still uh, definitely drugged up and under the weather and not able to join us tonight. So. Of course, all of our best wishes and a speedy recovery go out to Johnny, of course. He, he told me that he was playing Street Fighter 2, and uh, he threw someone in the game, <laughs> and the guy straight up like gave him a Hadouken to the stomach, is what, what he told me. So, <laughs> Hadouken! <he>, Hadouken! <laughs> nice. No, but we totally understand. We wish he could have been here tonight, but um, definitely it was, you know, if it went unnoticed, that, that stuff is, uh, what did he have, appendicitis and that? That's definitely life-threatening. Yeah, it's serious stuff. Yeah, serious shit. So, uh, seriously, no Dr. Love tonight, but our, our thoughts and prayers are with him for sure. Definitely. So, Well, I'm really happy to be here. Why don't we break down, Jason, um, how people are going to call in, which, by the way, for those of you that are listening to this recorded, we are, we, are recording this, <laughs> we are recording this live um, in front of a chat room right now, and we are planning on taking live phone calls so you guys can call in with your questions and comments. Jason, why don't you go ahead and let people know how they're going to do that. All right, guys, so this is how it's going to work. Basically, it's going to be done via Skype. And what we're going to do is you're going to go ahead and um, add um, All Gen Gamers Podcast is the Skype name. And what you're going to do is you're going to send a text request. Don't call in. Don't don't try to connect that way because this gets too crazy. But send in uh, via type. Just type it to us. Uh, what a comment or what you want to talk about or something you want to bring up, anything like that. And um, then I'm gonna thumb through them. And uh, when I find one that's relevant or one that I think we should talk about, I will then uh, PM you back, let you know that I'm gonna bring you on, and I will call you and bring you in. Don't do video. We're not gonna do video. It's just gonna be uh, talking to you via audio. So just so you know. So that's how it's gonna work. It's gonna be uh, via Skype. Go ahead and add us, um, All Gen Gamers Podcast, all one word. That is the Skype name. So this should be kind of fun. We're trying to do some cool new things, you know, to, to get into the community even more than we already do. We're bringing you some cool video stuff like this, trying to communicate with everyone. So hope you guys like it, you know. Be a lot of fun. So that's how it's going Absolutely. down. So, hey, Jason, people are wondering what my announcement is because I made an announcement that I'm, I'm maybe making a big announcement here on the episode. Yes, yes. So, um... I've decided to make, I know you guys are going to laugh, I already have like a bajillion channels, right? I've got my like, Game 31, Star Wars Nut 77, the arcade channel, and my Nostalgiaholic one. Well, I've decided to go 3D. So I started a Game 81 in 3D channel on YouTube. What? Oh, yeah. cool, so I've, I've, dude. I've, I've, I purchased a 3D camera, and I've already got a couple of videos on there. It's called Game 81 in 3D, oh. and you need, um, you need like the red-blue glasses, or you can watch it without, without the glasses. You can cross your eyes and shit. But it looks super <laughs> cool. It's super cool. And, you know, it's funny because uh, Chipsters started doing this too. But it's totally ironic because him and I kind of posted at the same time. Yeah. So there's no really no other gaming channel doing 
the whole like um, 3D thing. N so. None that I know of at all. Dude, 3D is so big right now. I know. People are laughing because I got a bajillion channels. But hey, it, it's fun. You know, I enjoy doing it. So if you guys want to check it out, subscribe. That'd be awesome. You know, feel free to. Don't don't feel obligated though. So just we we're just talking about that. Look at that. More innovative, cool new things to bring into the community, dude. That's awesome. I'm looking forward to it. So you don't you don't need glasses? Like you can watch it, or do you need glasses? Well, you it... there's there's you can turn the option off. It's a thing on YouTube. It's been around for a while on YouTube, but there's an option you can turn it off, uh, the 3D off. So if, if you don't want to watch it, you could use the glasses, which I recommend. If you have like the red blue glasses, you can make them pretty easily. They're also pretty cheap. Or you can like view it, change the settings so like there's there's two videos, and then you cross your eyes and it'll pop out in 3D. Well, so. you know me. When I watch YouTube, that's all I do. I watch that shit cross-eyed. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> right on. So that, cool. that's my big announcement, guys. Cool, John. That's cool. I'm excited for it. Yeah, so I'm going to put, like, exclusive videos on there, too. So, like, I'll do, like, game reviews and system reviews like I do on my main channel. But uh, I'm going to do, like, uh, go to swap meets and shit like that. So it'll be cool. Nice. Very cool. Cool news. Yeah. I don't have any cool news like that. <laughs> Should have planned something, Pete. You got any good news? Nothing. And I just realized I forgot <laughs> to uh, write down my list of games I've been playing recently, so now i got to quick and try and remember what the <laughs> hell they were. Now, no going and walking to your collection and picking some out. I'm just getting lit up here on Skype. I can imagine. Pete's announcing a new room tour. No, I'm sticking. Yeah, really. <laughs> so, so hey, 50 episodes, though. I mean, you guys, it seems like just, like, a few months ago we started getting yeah. rolling with this, doesn't it? And there's a lot of, uh, we've had a lot of really great guests on. We've had a lot of, a lot of hilarious moments, a lot of highlight reels, a lot of great pictures. Yeah, there's a nice picture there. Isn't it time for that room tour? I love the whale bed. Look at that whale bed. That's pretty nice right there. <laughs> so what do you guys want to talk about? What should we do? Should we hang out? Should we have dinner together? What's going let's, on? Let's talk about this. Okay, this is kind of hot news. I'm sure you guys have talked about, you know, heard about it. But I'm getting a lot of people message me on, on YouTube. And like, what do you think of SB978? Oh, jeez. What's the deal with SB978? So let's, I, I want to get your guys' opinions about this, uh, this bullshit of a bill. And, and for those who aren't really familiar with it, uh, it's a bill that they're trying to pass in, in the Senate and the government's trying to pass. Basically, if it, it goes through, it's going to make playing games online uh, illegal. You can go to jail time for it. So it sounds like bullshit to me. But what are you guys' thoughts? Well... Yeah, I mean, this is a, this is a serious thing, and I think, and I, I've read up on it a little bit. Now, I, I'm not, I'm not, you know, saying I know everything about the bill itself, but from what I understand, it it's showing or it, it's stating that it's supposed to be to protect the the music industry and the film industry. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to limit um, these things becoming um, streaming, and um, that also incorporates, you know, gaming because. They're, what they're trying to do is they're trying to eliminate copywritten material being streamed on the internet. That would also fall under video game material being streamed. So uh, if you think about it, I mean, that, that really would encase everything that us as gamers do. I mean, think about that. If, if we can't go on, say, YouTube and watch a preview of a game or a trailer or, um, you know, come to Justin TV or anywhere else that you stream and watch people play the games... I mean, wouldn't you guys agree that this has become part of our culture, part of the, the video game industry, per se? I mean, mm -hmm. wouldn't you say? I mean, you come on, you watch people play, you, you know, you go to YouTube, watch previews and trailers, and, and that gets interest in the game where they would have not had the interest before. Yeah. I don't think yeah. it's going to be passed. Like I said, I'm, I'm only going to complain once it's passed. I'm not really too concerned because, honestly, I think it's ridiculous, and it, they'd be yeah. crazy to pass it. Well, I think I think streaming music and video, like movies, is one thing, but games are completely different because it's a completely different experience playing a game than it is watching someone play a game. Would you guys not agree? Yeah, no, I totally agree. I totally agree. It's a game is interactive where you can actually, you know, it's like input output, right? Like you can press a button and something happens on the screen. 
it's interactive where you know a movie you know you just sit there and watch the movie um in some people's case lord of the rings you know spend about 20 hours and watch it you know mm-hmm. pete you know you could do that if you wanted which by the way yes um <laughs> i did go to see return of the king once again and have to say that was that was a four and a half hour movie that just flew by and uh it was just very very cool to have the chance to see that in the theaters once again they had it on TNT uh, on last yesterday. I think they were playing on TNT, the shorter version. But yeah, it's a classic. Classic. So yeah, that that bill's pretty crazy, and I honestly don't. I, I honestly don't see it be, being passed. I really hope it doesn't. I, I think that they'd have to restructure the internet completely if, yeah. if that thing gets passed. I mean, what, what, it would what are we shut do? Throw... Justin TV down. It would shut yeah. this place down. It would. Yeah, it, it would. would. It would. Yeah. It become nothing what... but video blogs. What are they going to do, throw everyone in jail? I mean, really? Like, our government can afford to throw people in jail for five years or whatever? And, and from what I read of the bill, I read the bill, it's 10 offenses within 180 days. So, which means if you get more than 10 people to view the video, then you're, you're, you're fucked. It's not 10 different uploads. It's 10 different views. Oh, it's 10 different views? <laughs> yeah. That's pretty, yeah. wow. That happens in yeah. a couple of seconds, you know? Right. Right. Yeah, I don't know. That's... It's, I don't think it will pass some kind of with you guys. I mean, here's the I'm just frustrated. The government needs to be focused on creating new jobs and balancing the budget, not about shit like that. So that's I what's so frustrating. I completely agree. And, you, you know, know? And I know I know that they're trying to protect, you know, the music industry and the, and the film industry and, and all that sort of thing. But, I mean, really? I mean, really? That's what they're going to – I mean, uh, I agree with you, John. I think in this in this crazy economy that America has right now, I just think they need to be focusing their resources in other places. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and for those of, of of those listeners who are listening, are like, oh well, I'm in Canada or I'm in Europe. It's not going to affect me. Well, it is going to affect you because what's going to happen is your videos are going to be blocked in the states, mm-hmm. which is like huge chunk of your viewership, right? Yeah, yeah. So there's a, lot, there's a lot coming in through there. It's it's gonna it's gonna affect everyone. I mean, bottom line, but I I hope it doesn't pass, and I think it's just complete bullshit. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. So I think one of the topics we wanted to talk about today, Jason, uh, we were talking about it before, is we wanted to sort of reminisce on some of our favorite moments from past shows. And I think you have two particular audio clips <laughs> ready that uh, would be... Yeah, I sure do. Guys, we've had... we've had. A, I mean, come on. Can't we agree? We've had a lot of fun in, in these 50 episodes. I mean, it's almost... We're almost coming up on a year, right? Our year anniversary is Episode 52 up. will be one year. Two weeks. Yeah, man, we're gonna celebrate twice. It's a double celebration. So yeah, I got a couple audio clips because we've had some really fun times, some good, good energy, a lot of good stuff. So uh, let's see what we got over here. Oh, I wonder what this is. Pete. Mm. <laughs> <sighs> wow, it's extremely hard touch. Mm. Oh my god, so hard. Oh yeah, so hard. <sighs> Yeah, it's tough. It's really hard. Fucking oh, asshole. <laughs> Can I hop in sure. there? Yeah. Hmm. Jeez. Oh, God. Nice. I like that. Damn. Oh, shit. Slow down a little bit. I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna come so fast. Oh, my God. Fire! Fire! Oh, shit. Pete, holy cow, this is intense. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, oh. I'm just gonna... Oh, yeah. oh. That's beautiful. That was so good. And a blue, like, right in the center of your head, like, <laughs> across your forehead and in front of your right eye. Oh, fuck. It was still fun for me, though. I knew it's... you were going to say that. You'd actually play with your mouth. It was really weird. <laughs> oh, God. See, I love that. Now, who who did these? Do you remember, Pete? you remember the dude's name? Uh, it's a, it's, it's a friend it's, of Ben. If anybody remembers Brolan, we actually will. We just had him on as a guest. Um, he His friend Vito... Made us these two audio clips. The Algen Gamers Orgy. So you can find those too. I I put some pictures of us uh, behind uh, behind those and I put them on our Algen Gamers YouTube page. So make sure to go check those out. Uh, YouTube.com slash Algen Gamers where you can check that out. We've got another one too. He did a two-parter here. So that that was uh, Algen Gamers Orgy 1. Here is the Orgy 2 sound clip. (laughs) This is what I'm going to do to you guys. I'm going to fuck you all ass to mouth. Oh, oh. No. I know it's creepy stuff. I can't wait. What? what? So like that, yeah, I'll be in line for that shit. 
Oh my god, are you serious? It's yeah. oh, it's it's wild stuff. I love it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so go ahead. Oh my god, do I do I want to? Uh, my wife and I will watch. Oh, oh Jesus oh, Christ! Jeez, I'm scared. And <laughs> interested. Okay. Um. I, oh. What did he? Hey, oh. Uh, the, 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 I got it. I'm in. Oh. Did, 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 oh. Uh, he's on fire. I, I love the fucking. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Oh my God! Look at that thing. Oh wow. <laughs> nice. Mm. Uh, I, 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 Pete, please grab him. Yes. God almighty. Do it. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah. You, 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 yes. Oh, jeez. Like, God. Hey, you guys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wow. This is classic, dude. Holy shit. What the fuck? It's weird. Was, what, what did it sound like? What did, what did you hear? It sounded like a person. It sounded like aliens were coming. Yeah. Naked <laughs> aliens. Yeah, naked. <laughs> Come yeah. on. I enjoyed it. You know, I, I wasn't scared by it, except for maybe the last minute or two. I kind of, I liked the, the ending. Minute. I thought it was pretty good. I just cannot believe this guy. He just, he just keeps on going. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fart at the end too. Classic. That never gets old, man. Never gets old. Yeah, those are so good. It's so good. <laughs> hey, Jason, do you have the uh, "Get Your Whale On" clip? I'd love I, to listen to that again. Yeah, I do. I do. You guys want to hear it? Let's let's hear it. All right, let me get that queued up. We need an orgy three. They said we need to do an orgy three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where's all my? And where can people find this, Jason? Uh, people can find this on our um, All Gen Gamers YouTube page, www. Uh, YouTube slash All Gen Gamers. dot com, and that is where it is. And where is my? <laughs> He's trying to stall for through, time. I am sorting through. Playing this at my wedding, Jason. <laughs> Mega Man Cave just said he's gonna play this on his wedding. Hilarious. Oh, he is. You know what? He PM'd me not too long ago, and he said something about that. Kevin, if you do, man, I, what I want is I want you to videotape it, and I want a copy of it, and I will promote the shit out of that. That is excellent, because playing Get Your Whale on at a wedding, winning. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all around the world. I go by the name of Jason Heine, who got a treat for you today. Yo, he went from Pete to Johnny, but now he's kicking it with Mr. Heine. <laughs> well, what can I say? He, he likes, likes my pool and he likes the sun rays. Yeah, and when he flips up his tail and the birds fly by, they tweet it all day. We were on our way to Crick Trip for a drink run. He asked me a bit about Gamester 81. I said, he's my neighbor, son. He demanded I go get girls and bring them back, too. I guess he's got something for them to do. Drop down and get your way along, girl. Drop down and get your way along. Drop down and get your way along, girl. Drop down and get it on. Get, get it on. Drop down and get your way along, girl. Drop down and get your way along, girl. Drop down and get your way along, girl. Drop down and get it on. Yeah. Indian, Atlantic, Pacific He will swim it just to go and get fit He's the man of the sea Slap down, pimping on the fishies He's so slick with his bag of kettle chips Sea salt while checking out his game ball He's got an iPhone app that checks the water temps And high and low tide, past the rise So what do you say to the whale that's got it all? I wanna just kick it some more Hell whale, we gonna party again? Hell yeah! Drop down and get your whale on, girl. That's right. Drop down and get your whale on. Right. Drop down and get your whale on, girl. Drop down and get it on. Let me see it. Drop down and get that whale on, girl. Yeah. Drop down and get your whale on. Come on. Drop down and get your whale on, girl. Drop down and get it on. Drop down and get your whale on, girl. Drop down and get your whale on. Drop down and get your whale on, girl. Drop down and get it on. Drop down and get your whale on, girl. Drop down to get your whale on. Drop down to get your whale on, girl. Drop down to get it on. Yeah. Uh. Own it, own it, own it, I own it, I own it, I own it, I own it. Oh. Yeah. It's the 
all gen gamers. What? Whale. Now watch where you're splashing. Watch where you're splashing. Stop it. I mean, who doesn't love it? Now, you know? what what are the origins of the whale for people that don't remember? I think, I forget what episode it was. Was it episode like four or five, wasn't it? I think it was the episode that Jason came on. I think oh, it yeah, was. Episode? episode six, was it? Six, yeah, it was six. Episode six, and it was, you know what's funny is, it wasn't intended to be anything <laughs> that it is today, really. It was just a funny sound clip that I threw in. I think we were just making some jokes, some comments. And um, I, I played the sound clip. Wait, Jason. <laughs> Are you saying the whale's not real? That's not what I said. <laughs> what the fuck? Is it That's just not a what sound I said. Clip? No, it's not what I said. All right. You almost, you almost had me going there, man. Working he's real. Out. He's real as can be. You heard him. You heard him in the song. He's there dancing. Yeah, he's real. Having fun. Yeah. Anyway, and then it just blew up. It was just a really funny clip. I mean, you know, I got all kinds of sound effects. I mean, I got but what more. The, I don't even remember. Why did we play? Why did you play that sound clip in the first place? <gasps> oh my goodness! Were we talking about? Oh my god! We were talking about somebody's girlfriend. No, someone's girlfriend. Oh yes, yes. Oh. Uh... And I played it. Someone said something about like a fat ass or something, and I played the whale. And then it just blew up. And then it was kind of like a. Every episode, I would just sneak it in there and play the clip, and this kind of became funny. And then we started hanging out with the whale. Now we're all friends. <laughs> well, I think he started the whale started at Pete's place for a while, and then he went to Johnny's. Right? No, he started with Johnny. Went to Pete, and then you. Yeah, yeah, that's right. The whale came here, and then we did a song together. We did a track, you know. You guys heard it, which you can download if you really like it. iTunes, Napster, Rhapsody. It's around. There's uh there's another little meme that originated and uh you might recognize this picture. <laughs> Do you remember the origins of RoboCat? Oh. I can't see it. Should be up now. Yeah, my my computer's too laggy though. I can't see oh, okay. it. It's like frozen. Yes, RoboCat. <laughs> RoboCat. Robo yeah, what episode yeah. was that? Uh, I looked through the archives. It was a long time ago. I think ago. it was the first episode that we had Luke Morse on. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. At the end of the... No, it was the... It must have been the Turbo Graphics episode, because then Luke Morse made a like surprise appearance at the end. Okay, yeah. Yeah, well, basically what happened with that is we were getting some crazy feedback. We were getting some crazy... Um, you know, when we use Skype, and you guys know we use Skype for our communication, and it's great. It works wonderfully. But sometimes it has problems. Sometimes it gets a little screwed up. Makes things a little difficult. But... In this case, it makes things really interesting because we were getting some, like, robot, like, feedback, and it was hilarious, and Pete was right in the middle of talking. And then this started to happen, and Pete stopped, and he's like, did you guys hear that? Sound like a fucking robot cat or something. <laughs> and I, we started laughing. And so I went back in the episode and pulled that out, and, of course, that's what we know today as the uh, robo cat. <laughs> pretty funny but it, that, was, little... that was i think that was luke morse his audio was chopping up and it just made that one little clip there yeah and it sounded just like a damn cat <laughs> <laughs> classic classic and that's a cool picture that you found too pete it's perfect it's exactly what was happening <laughs> now i don't know if you have the sound clip ready but how did the dogs and the goat originate well i know We're, for a fact it was... Yeah, John. I know the, the the dogs. I think were it was during a love talk session, and I think the question was like, "Where's a good place to meet girls?" Yes. Yep. And I was like, "Well, I used to go to like the dog parks and just like bring my puppy, or whatever, and girls would come up to me and talk to me, you know." And that's the, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Mortal farm bat, farm bat. If you were funny, yeah. So that's kind of where I don't know where the goat came in. I think that was another sound clip. That was the Mar was Mortal like, farm bat episode. Where, yeah, uh, Johnny's ahead. goat can kick your your dog's ass. You have that song ready, Jason? I you know what? I don't. Oh, I don't have that Jason. song. I know, I'm sorry. I know. I didn't go back and pull it out, I should have. That's what she said. 
<laughs> any oh, other ones? Too many sound clips. I'm sorry. Any any other ones that anybody else in the chat can remember? As far as like animals or mascots? Anything. Damn. Oh man, I'm just I'm just going back on the episodes and like looking through them. Like there are some crazy crazy ones. How the hell did my I'll be in line for that shit originate? I think that was with the 3ds. Yeah, we were talking 3DS. about yeah. I think I asked the question. Oh no, maybe I didn't. Yeah. It was like well, a pre-order or something, or you know, you were you were being asked on something you're really interested in, and I remember you just saying, "Yeah, I'd be in line for that shit." <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff. People want to know about the Snuggie. The Snuggie. Well, I mean, what's there to say? I DJ with the Snuggie. That's what I do. When it's cold, I'll DJ with it. And I'll wear nothing underneath it. Just DJ Snuggie up in this bitch. That's how it goes. No, I'm just kidding. The Snuggie, oh. the Snuggie, I got it for Christmas. Okay? I got it for Christmas. And... I, it keeps me warm. I like it. It is okay. It's hey. the best of both worlds. You take a fucking time, blanket. Time out. Okay. Time out. Okay. Time out. Time out. Sorry to interrupt you. Sorry to interrupt you. We got very exciting news. Pete. Yes. Johnny just texted me. He wants to join us. Oh boy. Give him a call. Oh. Well, that's Jason. Give him a call. Okay. Has he is Dr. He on right himself. Now? Is he yeah, on he's right, on right now? now? Give him a call. Give him a call. Okay, hold on. Doctor Love himself is in the building. Straight from having surgery. Straight from the chat the room is going crazy. Straight from the heavens. It's a second here. People are stoked. Totally awesome. Okay. Add contacts. Pete may need to restructure your shit over there. No, no, it'll be okay. I think. I hope. What it, what it is, boys? How's it going? Hey, what it do? Dude, How's Johnny? Johnny? Dr. Um, Love. Is there a video? What's going on? Yes, there is. Awesome. Turn your turn your camera on. The camera is on. Oh. <laughs> I don't see it. Do you guys see it? Click on, on the bottom of Skype. There should be an option for my video. I don't run Mac, though. What about Mac there, Jason? For me? Uh, uh, very top right of the screen, right next to the hang-up button should be a video oh. icon. Click that and you're good to go. Let's see. Here we go. Is that working? Yay! <laughs> okay, it is working. Awesome. What's up, Johnny? How oh, are you feeling? Gee. You know, I couldn't let you guys do this without me coming on, you know, for sure. So I'm not feeling well by any means, but I'm going to try to stay on for a, a little bit. If, if, I, if I was to show you guys this, I'm not going to show you all the way, but yeah. I got three cuts right above the groin. Ooh. Good stuff, eh? Wow. Isn't the audience excited? <laughs> Good thing they didn't miss. I got some stories about that, I tell you. <laughs> I, got a, I got a great story, if you're up for it, because um, do you guys want me to tell you what happened? Yes. Please yeah, do, sure. yes. Please. Okay. So I'm kind of sweaty. I got, I'm on a lot of drugs and stuff like that. Um, so Friday, Friday evening, I, you know... Went to bed, watched a movie, probably watched all three Lord of the Rings and, you know, <laughs> kind of stuff that Jason hasn't done. <laughs> and then the funny thing is I wake up at 7 in the morning in the worst pain in my entire life. I mean, like, I'm like, oh, my stomach. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? And it's kind of one of those things I woke up and I knew that there was something wrong, that it wasn't like, you know, John, games are waking up with some gas in the morning. You know, I'm like, I'm in some serious pain here, like. So much so that I got out of bed and I'm walking around the apartment and I'm like, what am I supposed to be doing? What am I supposed to do? And um, I didn't want to wake the girlfriend up. I'm like, I don't, I don't want to wake her up. Like, what do I do here? But I'm like, fuck it. I, I wake her up. I'm like, call an ambulance. I'm in like some serious pain here. <laughs> we need to call an ambulance. So an ambulance came. I'm at, actually at the front of the building. I'm on my knees going, hurry the fuck up. I need to get this shit out of here. Oh, my God. And um, so, yeah, they carted me away. Long story short, they take me in, all this crap, and uh, they're like, yeah, it's probably, uh, you know, what the fuck is it? Sorry, I'm on drugs. What? Do... Appendix, thank you. Girlfriend helping me out there, because I'm, I'm, yeah, Kim is helping me out. <laughs> um, so, they, so they assess the, uh, the appendix, right? They're like, that's what we think it is, and I'm like, okay. 
And they're like, yeah, let's, but we want to do a, a scan first of all. I'm like, sure. So they wheel me into this freaking room, you know, in the middle of the donut type of thing. And uh, they're like, yeah, I have an uh, you know, IV. And they're like, I'm going to inject some stuff into you. I'm like, okay, whatever. They're like, it's going to feel really weird. I'm telling you, all of a sudden my veins start like heating up. Like, and it's like the worst sensation of my life. And I'm in this fucking donut. It's like a bad fucking video game. I'm like, this is not fun. I'm, I'm not liking this. And the woman's like going, you only have 25 seconds left. And I'm like, something's wrong again. Like, and so she pulls me out and she's like, oh my God. And I'm like, what? Because this is a scan to see, scanning my stomach. That's all it is. Take x-rays. And she's like, something's, something's wrong. I'm like, what's wrong? I broke up totally in hives. I had an allergic reaction to the shit they pumped into my IV. So uh, oh, wow. that was fun times. That was good times. And so then they put me full of Benadryl or whatever to, to you know, the adverse effects of that. So I'm completely fucked up, sitting in a wheelchair. I'm like, what the hell is going on with my life? And um, finally, uh, so that ends. And they finally take me into surgery like hours later. It was just ridiculous. So much pain. I can't tell you the amount of pain. Like, I just keeled over. I'm actually in a lot of pain right now. So I might actually have to kind of get up and walk away for a sec because it's kind of uncomfortable to be sitting here for too, too long. But... Um, Finally going to surgery, and here's the funny bit. This is the bit I wanted to talk about, is that they pull me into the, the surgery, and, like, they're putting me onto the bed, and there's all the doctors around me, the surgeons and all that kinds of crap. And uh, this is the funniest thing ever. So they're like, oh, they're like, so you're here for the sex change, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't laugh. If I laugh, I'd fucking kill my fucking stomach out. Ah. But they're like, you're here for the sex change. And I'm like... No, and I'm, I'm they got the oxygen on, man. I know they're kidding me, but it's it, it's actually a good way to break the ice. And yeah. they're like, well, we have the big scissors ready to go. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, that doesn't sound like too much fun. And at that point, I'm just like, poke me out. I've had enough of this shit. And uh, it was really cool. Rob came to visit me actually just before the operation, and all that kinds of stuff. So it's kind of scary. You know what's scary going for an operation is that I'm worried because when I'm gonna go. And they're going to give you the anesthesia and all that, knock you out. I have this deep fear, i got to be honest with you, that I might not wake up. Because you have to sign on all these forms. And if you die, that the doctors can experiment on your body and rape you when you're dead and all this kind of stuff. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> So I was kind of, I was kind of nervous. Uh, like, I was so happy to wake up from that freaking operation. And uh, yeah, the next two days after the operation were really a lot of crap. And uh, finally got home, and it's still... It's, it's kind of horrible because I can't really sit too long and play a video game type of thing. So, yeah, and I'm sweating profusely because I'm still, still pretty sick here. So I just want to come in with a little bit of energy and tell everybody my entertaining story what happened to me. That's fantastic, so, Johnny. Johnny, so would, yeah. you, would you say you're in max pain? Would you say you, you were in max pain? At that time? <laughs> You've been funny. Yeah, See, I, I, I can't get with John's humor. It's, it's way above my head. Yeah. <laughs> the drugs are fucking with him. He doesn't. He can't. He can't. He can't yeah, I know. I, I need to get on drugs to talk to this guy. Yeah, it <laughs> went over your head. My bad. Hey, uh, I'm glad you're feeling better, though, bro. Seriously. Yeah, definitely, and, you know, Johnny. I saw your Facebook post, and uh, we were all. You got a lot of people worried about you. So, uh, thank you for joining yeah, us. Yeah, I, I, well, that's awesome. I would like to thank everybody for all the amazing wishes everybody sent me while I was going through that. It was really unreal. I couldn't believe the response. It was incredible so i read everybody's comments that it really kind of it's really nice I, there's so many amazing people out there you know it's really unbelievable so uh, i just really want to thank everybody for sending all the messages and sorry that i couldn't write back there was so many messages and i was just like i can't sit on my computer for too long so I, if you guys don't mind i gotta get up and take some drugs <laughs> and i'll be back in like two minutes so all right okay, okay. sounds I, good i can't even get up <laughs> <laughs> no i'm good this is it. Ah, I'm good. Oh, <laughs> crazy! So, look at look at that guy, huh? Look at that guy coming. That in. is dedication. That really dedication is. to the podcast, right there. Definitely, definitely. Well, cool. Jeez. Well, <sighs> I think this would be a good time to remind people if you're joining us a little late. Um, we are going to take your calls live. So if you have any questions or comments. Um, that you want to ask us over Skype. You just got to make sure that you have Skype, first of all. And once you have that, uh, make sure you send a message to All Gen Gamers Podcast is the contact name that you need to message with your question or comment. And we definitely cannot guarantee we're going to get to them all because 
we there's probably... A lot. There's a Let me just tell you. Okay, there's a lot Jason says. So send your me message, question, comment, whatever it is to that. And um, Jason, if we decide we're going to pull you in on a live call, Jason will message you back and let you know that you're next in line to get your mic ready. Please wear headphones. Yeah, um, wear headphones and, and make sure that when I do bring you on, mute the stream audio that you're watching on yes. the computer. Mute, mute that. our stream. You have to turn the audio off. You can keep the video on if you want. Just make sure that you turn the audio off because you're going to hear us through Skype. And um, for those of you that are like, oh, I don't have a microphone, you you can use a rock band microphone, um, a Guitar Hero microphone, USB, plug it right in your computer. But please just make sure that, um, well, you're going to have the stream muted anyway. But just yeah. So mute that and and guys don't don't call me right now. I've got a lot of people that are just randomly calling me. Yeah, don't call. Just add me on here. Add me on Skype. It's All Gen Gamers Podcast. Just add it as a friend. Send me a text chat of what you want to talk about and then I will uh bring you in, okay? That works the best. So, that sounds cool. Unless you want to do one of them right now, Jason. Maybe uh, maybe we'll see. spritz them throughout the show, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, I had one, and then he said no. So we're going to move on. Oh. What were we talking about before we, Before Johnny came on? I think we were talking about the, the Snuggie. How I came into oh, yeah, we were just talking, yeah, we were talking about the Snuggie. <laughs> yeah. I think I need another operation. <laughs> Why? You need, another, you need a Snuggie? Because you're talking about this, this, this Snuggie. <laughs> That's like every Canadian's worst nightmare. Except Rob. Rob loves the Snuggie. He's, a big fan. Yeah, he's, got, the pa he's got the Pac-Man one, right? Yeah, he was looking for the Street Fighter one. Uh oh. One time, if I remember right, too. Yeah. I dropped by today, and because uh, he knows I got a lot of uh, recoup time going on, and uh, I was looking for this, and he actually dropped off this for me to play. Can you see that? Yeah. Uncharted two. So super happy it's to get about that. Damn oh, cool. time. <laughs> yeah, can't wait actually get get to that. Hopefully, I can sit for a little bit of period of time and actually play that. Everything so, mm. very cool. Mm. You were talking about the snuggy. What like what aspect of the snuggy? Well, people were, were just people about? were just interested in what it was, where it came from, and I, I got it. For, it all. I, I got it for Christmas, and um, and I DJed with it one one time. I wore it while I was DJing. You know, snuggy keeps you warm. Think about it, guys. <laughs> you're combining, you're combining the best of both worlds. You're combining a blanket. Right? And I guess, what, a robe? Because it's got arms? And just wraps around you? I mean, you can't go wrong. It's but, a slanket. They call them a slanket. Should you just get a man for that or something, Jason? I can. The only thing, Jason, that would make it better, the only thing that would make it better, Jason, would be like add a vagina to it. Yeah, and, that and, would be like, and I need a hole down big... there. I need a hole down there so that it can just... I said, pardon? Out it goes. <laughs> That's what I need. It's got for my arms, and I just need a, a hole maybe about that big. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the, the whole... on the slanky, on the slanky blanky snuggy. How did the whole poutine thing come about? Because we, you know, we talked about poutine in the past episodes. I, I, I do, curious. I do remember this. And actually, I had a conversation with Johnny before we. I brought it up on the podcast. Right. Yeah. Remember, John? We were talking. Yeah. And um, I was reading about this this food dish that was. French fries, cheese curd, and gravy. And I'd never even heard of it before. And I go, what the hell is poutine? And Johnny was like, poutine? What do you mean? Never where heard did of you hear about poutine before that? What, like, where did that come from? Like, what, what triggered in your mind? Where did you read that? Do you remember? Uh, you know, I was um, just thumbing through Google, you know, looking for hot French fried dishes. I honestly have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what the hell I was looking up. Who knows? But you know, and that's that's another thing is, it just looks it looks, it looks like shit. I think but, it looks disgusting. But I like fries and I like gravy and, I guess cheese curds okay, right? It's just cheese, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's good stuff. It's not a bad thing, you know, yeah. not at all. But so that's John got to try some. He loved it. I yeah, you guys. I put a picture of John up right now eating it, and he does not make it look appetizing. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> People thought that was drool coming off that, which was really funny. It's freaking cheese. Oh, my God. This happened a lot here. I can't see the video itself. I gotta... Oh, uh, it's on... The, we're, I'm talking about on the stream. Yeah, my yeah, computer's so laggy right now. It's, it's, 
it's, I can't see shit right now. Like there's a lot of people in there right now. Just hanging out. Yeah. I'm on a hotel Wi-Fi right now, so we're not Wi-Fi, but hotel internet. So we'll see. <laughs> I'm gonna try to check it out. Okay. Um. Well, should we try one, guys? Yes. Bring in our yeah, first lucky contestant. We're gonna bring a young boy on the channel, are we? Yeah, I think so. Mm. Come on. <laughs> Just... This is the first time we're doing this, so we're gonna... Yeah, hopefully it works. We kind of went through some works. tests, so it should work. Alright, let's give it a shot here. <coughs> While Jason's doing that, a reminder if you want to call us with a question or comment. And you have Skype, add, or don't add, send All Gen Gamers Podcast a message with your specific question or comment that you want to talk about. And please be ready at any moment's notice to be called. Jason will message you prior to bringing you on live. Make sure you yeah, have a headset, right. mute the stream audio. Yeah, definitely. So make sure to, to mute your stream audio, and if you have headphones, that'll work out the best. Headset, yeah. Headphones are good because they're also, our volume will echo through your computer speakers and into your mic. All right, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to go ahead and give a shot here. I'm bringing in Matt here. Matt Davis, thanks for joining us today, Matt. How you doing? Matthew. Matt, hold on. Hey, I'm fine, guys. How you doing? <laughs> There's a uh, second here. Let's see if it's on my end or his end. We can't hear you, Matt, so hold on here. Hey, Pete, they're saying you're too loud. I know, I have a habit of... Is this okay? Does this sound better? I have a habit of talking... Are you hosting, Pete? Is that it? Yes, I am. That's probably what it is. Uh, I'm not sure why I can't hear you, Matt. I, 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 I got my microphone turned can't hear you for low. some reason. Sorry, buddy. Okay, well, that didn't work out right. Until this, next time. It is working, right? We can hear the whale. Yep. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. So it's definitely something to his end. Matt, go ahead and try to check your settings and get that up and running, sir. Let's see. So, all right. Well, I'll try to find someone else here. I'm getting lit up. Trying it again. Matt, you there? No, I'm still not working. Okay. Um, let's see. Right. Yeah. So, oh, segue into something else for right now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Anyone else? Yeah, I, I'm just trying to find a good question here. Fuck okay, him, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. I've got, uh, let's see if we can get this working. There's so much. It takes so much, people. Hello, hey, hello. Kevin, can you hear us? I can hear you. Oh, there we go. So definitely Perfect. got it working. So here we got Kevin from the Mega Man Cave joining us right now. Kevin, what's up, man? Good to see you. Or hear hey, you. Uh, good to see you guys too. Even though you really uh, can't see me, but <laughs> we can feel you, so it's okay. <laughs> well, I can, I can feel you too. Nice. That's always a good thing. <laughs> so, Kevin, you had a whole, you had a whole bunch of questions here. You had a question, then an alternate question, then a, a addendum to the question. But you know what? I, uh, I, I really like your first question there. So why don't, why don't you hit that one up, or whatever one you think fits best? What do you think? Go for it. You're on the show, call yeah. me. Well, you know, since you guys are so nice, I'm going to go with the first question, Jason. All right. Um, my question for you guys is, what was the best launch game to ever come out on a system? Hmm. Super Mario 64. I was going to say that, too. <laughs> I knew it. That's what I was going with, too. Totally. Yeah, right that, that was such a good one, though. That was such Wait, a good one. Best, I didn't hear best launch title? Yes. Uh, Super Mario World? I, that's a good one too. I was just thinking. Oh, of for that. Super NES. For Super NES, yeah, that's my pick. That's definitely a good one. Yeah, it, notice that they're all, they're all Mario titles. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's crazy yeah, because singer, like Blue Singer on the Dreamcast. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know what's crazy? You know what's Book crazy problem. about the whole thing though is, look at it. It's like we didn't. When was after that though? After that, how many, like, epic launch titles have there been? Few. Yeah. Back Wasn't in the day, they were just fucking unloading these good games back then, you know? Yeah. 
for sure. Like well, you'd say Super Mario on the NES, and then God, what <laughs> Altered Beast in the Genesis? Golden Beast. Golden. <laughs> Golden. <laughs> Right. Cameo, cameo on the Xbox 360. Right? I do agree with that. That's a good game. Not the best, but that is a decent no. launch game. Yeah. What's Soul Calibur launch title decent. for the Dreamcast? That was yeah. That was a launch title. Soul Calibur was good. Hmm. How about some so, Sonic Mansion? Adventure? Sonic Adventure? No. I was gonna say that too. That's a good. That game is buggy as hell, though. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, Luigi's it's Mansion, yeah. Buggy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I have something to announce, and I want to say this to Pete. Um, remember, I think I said a long time ago that I bid on Shenmue, and I lost. And I, I, you know, a, a signed copy of Shenmue. It went for about two hundred and fifty dollars. And it's funny, Pete emailed me the other day. I was actually in the hospital, and I checked my iPhone, and uh, I'd already seen it because I already got you know, eBay emails me when some you know things come out. Uh, like 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 Shemu because I have it listed in there. Anything Shemu signed or Dragon Quest signed, I get an email about it. And so uh, Shenmue, uh got emailed to me, and I guess it was a uh, some guy had won it in a one-off contest, and it's signed by Yu Suzuki. Um, Yu Suzuki, fucking um, see this how fucking fucked up I'm. Yu Suzuki, and um, <laughs> so, yeah, that's how fucked up I am. You have no idea. And uh, so, anyways, I won the bid for the sh- copy of Shemu, 170 bucks. So, finally right. got my nice. copy of Shemu signed. Nice. Hopefully, it arrives safely. <laughs> the only problem is Canada Post has been um, on strike here, so I I got things that are supposed to be coming. I actually have like a, a signed James Cameron picture coming, and I should have been here two weeks ago, and it's still not here. So. Uh, hopefully, all this kinds of stuff shows up relatively soon. Could you just do us a but, favor, Johnny, and just. Could you mention the Sega Saturn real quick? <laughs> Sega Saturn! I, I should get it in my sand. It's somewhere out there. The but... Sega Saturn. Saturn! It's a beautiful <laughs> thing to wear. Beautiful. Yeah, people like that. I love that. It's funny. I actually like my accent. I think it's still a bit of my, a little bit of my British accent that I still have. Uh, the remnants of it. That's another one. Someone just mentioned. 45 so. days. Till packs? Johnny's out of it. He's out of the loop. I'm totally fucked up. Like, come on. Like, <laughs> no. <laughs> 45 days. Is that how how much you're clean? No, fuck that. You've been playing Final Fantasy. Even Don't Jason doesn't know. Oh, my God. These people. If we did, what, 45 days? Oh, it's pure solar. Oh, holy shit. Yeah, pure solar. Oh, yeah, pure how many solar. signatures are that petition? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't checked recently. Which reminds me, everybody, go sign the petition for Johnny to open Pure Solar. Hey, if, you know, if it's, if it's 100, I'll do a special video on my channel, just me opening the fucking goddamn game. I will do it. And play it. I will. Yeah, I'll play it too. <laughs> <laughs> Why you no play Pure Solar? Why you no play Pure Solar? Yeah, I know. I, I'm definitely interested in that. For sure, but if it's a hundred, I'll, I'll open it up, right? or not. It stays. I'll stay on the shelf in the the cave somewhere. But is, is, is there any more questions? Yeah, hey, any more questions? Yeah. yeah, tons of questions. I'm just trying to trying to sort them out here. Um. Oh, the petition is in the forum. Go to All Gen Gamers. Yeah. Our website, and there's a link to the forum, and you can uh, sign a petition. Okay. Hold on. We're working this out here. Meaning if it gets 100 signatures tonight, Johnny opens it live. I will open it live. <laughs> no, it's too big. No, he has, to, he has I, to, I, I to, yeah. to document it. That's yeah. quite a bit. I want to document it. I want to have a close-up of my hands opening it up. And throwing it in the garbage afterwards. Okay, so we're going to bring someone in here. So, you guys remember... Uh, Quite a long time ago, we always get a comment from a particular uh, a user. Remember that too? Pete used to call them users. Oh yes, the remember users. That? Yes, the users. <laughs> the users. Where did that, where did that, where did that come from? Thing, right? We were talking about Tron that night or something. Or I had just seen <laughs> Tron, and instead of saying the listeners, I said the users. <laughs> the users. It's hilarious. I always thought that was funny. Anyway, we used to be. Uh, we used to get lit up, and I remember a lot of people were like, "God, tell them to shut up. No more questions." 
no more questions from this guy. We have the comeback kid. Oh, yes. Hello, sir. Welcome to the show. What up, guys? How's it going? Good. Good. What's going on, man? Good to have you on here, man. What's up? All right, so you had you had a question there for us. I like that question, Harry. So why don't you go ahead and roll with it? My question is, what do you guys think of credits in video games? Do you guys feel obligated to watch them? Like, do you feel bad if you don't watch the credits? Um, what do you guys think of the optional the options that they have now, where you can watch the credits um, before you even beat the game? What do you guys think about that? Interesting. It's kind of like, I guess, you're talking about the credits for um, who made the game, obviously, right? Yes, yeah. Well, when you think about it, it's kind of like, I remember the, in, the, in the movie industry, they actually used to have to play the credits before the, the movie before. There used to be a whole thing about that, and then, or they could do it before or, or afterwards. There was that kind of thing. I, I guess video games can do whatever the fuck they want. They don't have the unions to say, you, know, you have to have the credits in the beginning. I remember George Lucas was like one of the first people to... Yeah, you want to Star Wars. Yeah. To start with Star Wars, yeah. right, John? Yeah. 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 So, I don't know. I, to, I don't want to sound horrible here, but I think we always recognize the main person who makes the game. You know what I mean? All these other people, like Joe Smith, did some CGI on some dragon's yeah. foot or something. Like, I don't really care about credits. Pete, what do you think? You when a game is guy, I, when a game is really good, and I really enjoyed it. Like, for example, Heavy Rain. You know, that game I sat through the credits because I, I wanted to. I felt, like, emotionally involved with that game, and I wanted to see everything here, the last bit of music they had. Um, and sometimes games have a surprise at the end. For example, no spoilers, but the latest Castlevania mm. game. You have to wait until after the credits. You know, you have to. Yeah. Um, but for the most part, if I know that a game isn't going to have anything special at the end, and I kind of just wasn't too involved with the game, I'll just blow through the credits um, and not even watch them. Yeah, mm -hmm. John didn't didn't uh, New Super Mario Brothers for the Wii have uh, like you could play through the credits, like kind of interact with the credits? Or there's games like that you can do that. I'm not quite sure if that was the example I'm thinking of, but um, oh yeah, Smash yeah. Brothers you can play through the credits. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How about uh, Star Fox Two? Star Fox sixty four. Right, right. And at the end, yeah. you just has to basically shoot all the the uh, names, all the letters. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's pretty cool. So those, I mean, that's cool when they start making it interactive. But typically, like, I just when it when it says game over end game, I, I turn it off. I don't really pay attention <laughs> to the credits. To be honest with you, because half the games or half the names I, I can't even pronounce half the time. You know, so <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> bar to bar, bar to bar, <laughs> bar to bar. <laughs> uh, to answer your question, there, you know, come back, I, kid. I always watch yeah, the credits. Oh, yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah. He brought up a good point. If it's got a good song at the end, like P, do you remember the end of uh, Gears of War? That was hilarious. That rap song. Um, the first gears. I don't think I ever finished it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the the end of that was hilarious. That I'm, I'm sure a lot of people in the chat probably. Well, think of Portal. Remember that rap song? It was just so super. Beating funny. the original oh, Portal was worth it for portal. the song. Yeah. What's that? Beating Portal was worth it just for the end song. Still alive. Hmm. Yeah, you know, like in a Metal Gear game, they always have a, you know. A little hint of something that's going to happen in the next game. It's always cool as well, as you said for Eva Castlevania. Definitely. Well, Comeback Kid, thanks for the question. Thanks for uh, hanging out and listening. We appreciate all the support, buddy. Check out Comeback Kid's channel, XX Comeback Kid with a K and a K for the kid, XX. I'll type it in the chat Thank room. Thank you, Pete. A K Thank for cunt. Guys. He's been Thank involved with the gaming community for a very long time, and yeah, he's been time. a big supporter of all of this, so definitely got to shout him out. Wanted to get you on. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thanks. See ya. Hey, Johnny. Yo. Johnny, as you used to say, John. Johnny, um, you missed yes. the news, man. Games 31, what are you saying? <laughs> you missed the news, man. I uh, I started to go, decided to go 3D on you. I got a 3D camera. So, so um, posting... you know, doing no pants or something? What's that? You're going to be doing no pants? <laughs> I, I'm getting, I'm getting like, breaking it out. My memory such as really 3D? Bad, but... Penises. It's, oh, your belly oh yeah, it's gonna pop out. It's gonna pop out of the screen. It's gonna be crazy. 3D cockasauruses. Yeah. Yes, it's gonna pop out of the screen. Sure, it's crazy. So. Credit. <laughs> yeah, way too much credit. I um, I was, I was, uh, I, I, tu I tuned in right into the beginning. Uh, but okay. that's really cool. Do you just need the regular red and blue glasses? Yeah, you need just uh, you can do that, or you can, you know, you can uh, set it where you can just where you view it without glasses and just like cross your eyes, you know? Yeah. 
you know, pop out. I decided to do a second channel because I didn't want to, like, I figured not everyone's going to dig it, you know, uh, and I didn't want to, like, confuse my audience because I just bought a really nice camera for my, my main channel, uh, yeah. my other channel. So I just I decided to do a Game Street 81 in 3D on YouTube, which is, like, my millionth channel. So I guess I'm an official YouTube whore now, if you want to call it have, that. Have, but, you uh, used, have you used your new camera yet? Yeah, man, I'm loving it. It's good, eh? Yeah, yeah. The microphone, all that stuff, too? Uh, the microphone, yeah, Jason helped me hook it up. I had some issues, like the first video I used the mic for, it went through like mono, like it went through one side, and people were like, I only hear it in my left ear, what the fuck? And people were like bitching about it, but, you know, I fixed it, so. Nice. You know, iMovie doesn't give you the option to balance the audio, which is really weird, so I have to go through like uh, Final Cut and do it. It's weird. You should so. just be using Final Cut anyways. Johnny. I know, right? 103 signatures. Okay, done. I will do a video. Opening Pierce solo around and playing it. Funny. That's fucked. And that's fucked, playing Johnny. it. I don't you gotta do saying. it now, Johnny. That's a fucked. full review. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a really. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open it up and light it on fire. Throw it some homeless children. <laughs> <You're> like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I will definitely open it up for sure. Yeah, that's gonna happen. So, but what a hilarious, <laughs> hilarious. What is it? What about the uh, petition for uh, Jason to, play, you know, watch the Lord of the Rings movies? What was going Good on point. with that? Well, there was one, and I, you know, I watched Lord of the Cock Ring, so I'm, I'm totally fine. <laughs> it was great, great show. Good family drama. You know what's, yeah. you know what's funny, you guys, is I actually went like on YouTube and watched Lord of the G Strings, like the highlight reels of it. That's hilarious, right there. That's on YouTube? Tough. Yeah, they have like highlight reels of it. You're probably not showing the actual porn on. No, it's not. Yeah. So, is that any good? Because maybe I should check that out. I, I highly. I think you probably saw the best bits in the movie, honestly. <laughs> it's, it's, Already. I saw it a long time ago, and it was, it was, I, I fast-forwarded through it, and it's like, this is fucking garbage. It's pretty nice, you know? Pete. I fit that role pretty good. I think maybe I should see the movie now. When are you watching the fucking Lord of the Rings movies? Well, I, look, John travels so much that I can't get the movie, so I have to wait till he's home, and then I'll ask him, and he'll let me borrow him. But he's been traveling. Yeah, I get home, I get home Friday. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come home Friday. I'll, I'll drop him off at your place, dude. Guaranteed. And obviously you're watching them on Blu-ray. Right, Jason? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't have the Blu-ray yet. Oh, jeez. Oh. Well, DVD, let so me get out my fucking VHS player. VHS player. <laughs> VHS. Let me just Did get... they ever, ever actually make um, a VHS copy of Lord of the Rings? No. VHS was dead by 2001. It was dead. VHS was pretty much... It will always be alive in my heart. I think, you know what? I think the last VHS movie they ever made was episode one. I fucking bought that piece of shit, too. Me, too. <laughs> Misa, Misa got a VHS. Holy, oh, 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 fucking goddamn! Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right, so how about nice. should we take another question, you guys? Yes, you yes, more questions. I'm getting fucking lit up. I'm just trying oh. to pick as many as I can and uh, keep rolling so, through oh, it here. Saying, yeah, this is. You're saying Lord of the Rings did make it to VHS? I'm, I stand mistaken. It People did. Correct me. Yeah, I did make it. The first one, The Fellowship of the Rings, made. Well, the VHS. I'll borrow the fucking tape player from my dad and we'll watch it. <laughs> So we've got uh, we got another guest here. I don't know your name, so hey, welcome to the show. What's your name? Yeah, you got me here. I got you there. What's going okay, on, man? Uh, my, my name's Sean. Hey, Sean. Hey, uh, my Howdy, question Sean. is uh, about: uh, Have you guys seen those portable game systems that people build out of like uh, PlayStations or N64s or whatever? Uh, what ha have you seen those, and what are your opinions on those? I assume you guys aren't really into that kind of thing because you like to have the original hardware. But I, but I'm curious what your thoughts are on those. I think you mean like the, the the GP2X Wiz and all those like emulators. No, you, he you know? means like taking the actual console, like a homebrew kind of thing, where they take right, the yeah. actual system and they put a screen on there. Like recently, John, um, some photos are revealed of a new Dreamcast unit that's like five hundred dollars, a portable Dreamcast, not the Dreamcast, like a portable handheld Dreamcast. You know, those kind yeah. of things. Luke Morris was always into that, wasn't he? Didn't he do like a little gauntlet or something like that? Yeah, definitely. And people who do little mini, mini Neo Geo cabinets, kind of the same idea, right? I think it's a cool yeah. idea, but honestly, like, I wouldn't have a practical use for them. Um, because, for you know, if I want to take a portable Genesis, I there's tons of games out there that have Genesis games on them or emulator systems like the GP2X that you can use. There's no reason for me to really use my Nomad anymore or to buy, like, a portable homemade homemade homebrew Genesis system. Same thing with the Dreamcast. If I really wanted something like that, I could just get the Dreamcast and I they're a lot of money by the way. People that make them it costs them a lot of time and money and they charge quite a bit of money for them. 
Yeah, I've finding? actually uh, built some myself, and uh, you know the, the 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 cool thing about it is you can do newer systems too. Like I'm right now working on a GameCube portable. So, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, you know, and I, really cool. I also did a um, well. My last one was <laughs> it's a little too big to be considered too portable, but uh, I built a, a portable handheld game thing. <laughs> a portable handheld what? You cut out. A, a computer, a oh. gaming computer. It, if you look on YouTube, it, it just search for my custom-built portable gaming PC. Okay. And I have a wow. video that's, like, really way too long, but you can at least see what it looks like. Yeah, you know, I've always, I've always watched those. I may have actually even seen your videos, to tell you the truth, because that sounds familiar. And, but I've always thought, man, the people that do that, I mean, you're not doing it because <laughs> you're trying to, like, mass-produce stuff. It takes a lot of time, a lot of effort. And I know it does take a lot of money, but you know, people like you that do that, really talented, really skilled. So yeah, I think it's, it's cool. really cool workmanship. So good for you on doing that. That's really what, cool. What did you What did you use for the GameCube uh, screen? Did you actually use the actual GameCube screen that like was able to attach onto it? Uh, no, those uh, those GameCube ones were kind of terrible. Uh, the one that you would get, uh, most people use the one that came with the PlayStation One. You know, the the little white version of PlayStation One. Yeah. Oh yeah, screen. sure. A lot of people use those because it's a five-inch screen and it looks pretty nice. But now you can get, uh, like on eBay, there's these uh, car reverse camera screens or whatever that are like 35 bucks. You can buy one of those, and uh, they're not too bad. They're smaller, but uh, I don't know. It, it depends on what you want to go for. If you if you're trying to go for something really small that you can, you know, you can, you pretty much can't fit any of these in your pocket, but. You know, if you want something small, you're going to have to go for a smaller screen and, and probably a system with a smaller board inside, you know. Yeah, that's cool. That's Definitely. Cool. Yeah, cool hey, question. Sean, Sean what's, your, uh, what's your YouTube channel? Uh, the one that I have that on is uh, Kyosho LP. That's spelled uh, K-Y-O-S-H-O-L-P. I also, I also do Let's Plays on that channel, so that's why that L, that's what the LP is for. Very nice. Cool. cool. Well, nice work out there. Definitely check it out. Thanks, Sean, for yeah, your question. Cool Thanks. Thanks for the question, man. Hey. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, I hit you there, Sean. Definitely, this is kind of a fun thing to answer like live this, questions yes. from people. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. We should do live uh, love talk later on, too. That'd be funny. Oh, man. I'm <laughs> up for it. Uh, let me live under break. the you weather talk. You guys want to answer another question? I'm just going to take off for a sec. Okay. I'm really, I'm really happy to be here still, to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you want me to get another question here? Let's do it. Yep. Uh, okay. <coughs> Is there a way to sort it by the oldest ones first, by chance? There's no way to sort any of it. I just get notifications of who's typing and when it's in, and so it's all good though. Hello. I'm going through. Hey, hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. How you doing? I'm good. Thanks for your questions there. I know you put a few of them up there, but I like your first one. But why don't we introduce yourself? Who are you? What's your name? Uh, my name is Ian. Hi, Ian. Ian, what's going on, man? Nothing much. Enjoying the podcast. Definitely. Thanks for listening. We appreciate it. So, I have a question for uh, John, a game Ready one. Yeah, why are video game bosses called bosses? Do you know? So, what, what was the question? Why are the video game bosses? What? <laughs> yeah, you know how at the end of a level... Yeah. Why are they called bosses? Is there a reason, or is that just... Why are they called bosses? That's a good question. I don't know, because they own you? I don't know. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> no, um... I know, because the, really the first video game boss I remember counting as a kid was Bowser, probably in Super Mario Brothers, right? Mm. Because I think most video games before that were kind of like Asteroids and stuff. They weren't necessarily like bosses. Or Pac-Man, there's not really a boss. So... I don't know why they call them bosses. That's a weird question. Why do you think they're called bosses? That shit is boss. I don't know. I, <laughs> I just remember as a kid, that's what everyone would call them. Yeah, bosses. That's true. Even yeah. to this day, I, you at the boss fight? Did you beat the boss? Did you beat the boss battle? Yeah. yeah. I, I I'm going to take a guess and say, I don't know, I, it probably originated in some game's manual, and that's how yeah. they mostly probably refer to them is just in the game manuals. Mm-hmm. Oh. Johnny, why are they yes. called? Well, why, why are the why are the uh, the boss battles the bosses? Why are they called bosses? That's the question we have right now. 
because they're the boss of the stage? I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. That is a good question. Yes, it's interesting, isn't it? Something we have no idea. We don't know. We'll ponder wow. it for the rest All of right. the show. Yeah, we, we will ponder that. Ian, thanks for your I'm question. A, thanks for Ian, Ian, I have a, like I have a question for, Ian, I have a question for you. What's up? How come uh, a slim chance and a fat chance are the same thing, but a wise guy and a wise man are opposites? That I do not know. <laughs> Gamester eighty one riddles. Gamester eighty one riddles. A new section of the show. How come you you wear a single shirt but a pair of pants? I don't understand that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at this guy. On fire. Listen, does this work? Hey, thanks for the question, Ian. Appreciate you listening. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Uh, thank you for calling me. Yeah. Was... See ya. Hey, so, so guys, guys, can we hold off for one second? Um, this is going to be, I'm only going to be on for another five minutes. I, honestly, I can't sit like this for too long, but uh, I just wanted to come on and uh, it was the 50th show and just uh, definitely show show myself. For it. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm not too well, so I got to I gotta fly off. After, let's do one more question and I'm done. No worries. Unfortunately. Trust let's me, do, this we, is awesome. Should we do a love, one love talk question for you before you oh, go? Oh, man. <laughs> for John. <laughs> If it's out of the forms and you fucking read it for live and I get to pick it. Okay. Okay. Let me go look. Okay, go take a look. I'm trying to get some questions lined up here. <laughs> I'm going to make it the longest motherfucker in history. <laughs> <Bitch>. <laughs> okay. I've got a I've got a I've got a real good one here. This okay. is this is a real good one here coming up. Mm. Yeah, Johnny, you're going to want to stick around for this one for sure. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I have on the show now Vito C., who did the All Gen Gamers Orgy Clips. Vito, welcome to the show. Hey, what's up, guys? What's hey, Vito, on, how you doing, man? What's up? <laughs> what's up, you perverted bastards? That's, yeah, that's who we are. <laughs> now, that's Pete you're talking about. He's the perverted bastard. Yeah, I'm sure he is. You know what to say about the silent ones. <laughs> and thanks to you, we're even more perverted, so that's great. Great, great. Yeah, thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. So the, the orgy clips are hilarious and uh, obviously gone over really, really well. So um, I guess we could just ask real briefly, so what, what possessed you to go ahead and do this? Uh, yes, I was possessed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, a while ago at work, I was in a position of... Um, I, I had to do quality control for uh, customer service reps at my work, and I was listening to one call, and uh, it really struck out, s struck out at me because the person on the line said something kind of odd that really stuck out to me, and she said something to the effect of she was looking t for a, a hot body to talk to, and normally you think of like a warm body. She was trying to reach somebody at another company, and I had the ability of uh, <laughs> editing calls. And so I wanted to play a trick on the uh, our customer service rep that took that call, and I manipulated it in a way, I changed it around so that he, the uh, customer service rep at our work, asked the lady, uh, first, before I continue any further, are you fine? And then she responds, I have a hot body. And so I played a trick on him as we reviewed the call together for quality assurance. I played it, and he was like surprised. He's like, what? I don't remember that on the call. So I just burst out laughing, and then that, I, I basically punked him. So I had this newfound uh, ability of being able to manipulate calls, as you can say. And I don't know, for shits and giggles, I did it with uh, a couple of AGG podcasts, and just shared them with my friend Ben, famed uh, forum moderator. Yeah, yes. Broland one, yeah. Yeah, so I, you know, I played a forum one day at work, and we were just dying of laughter together, and we're like, man, should we share this with the... Uh, HG crew, I don't know if they'll take it the wrong way, you know, no. if they'll be offended, and so we just sat on it, and you know, didn't really know what to do with it, and then it came up, uh, I think, if I recall correctly, on the forum there, Ben had mentioned it in, in a discussion, and then Pete said, hey, I'd like to, to hear more about these uh, clips, <laughs> so then he, he shared the clip on that one infamous podcast and the rest is history yeah definitely definitely was a good time and they've gone over really well they're hilarious and uh, i just remember just busting up laughing just couldn't stop laughing it's definitely <laughs> hilarious and being an audio guy like i know that process that you had to do I just, oh. it's just great you know it's just good stuff yeah 
it, it, it can get quite tedious at times. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, but the big thing here today is that Vito hit me up just before here and says, I have a third one. What? He has a third one. I have actually, I've actually heard this. He sent this to me last week before I fucking, you know, went to the hospital and all yes, that. Yes, I and think I we have Johnny's it, so. blessing. Yes, loved it. it all right, let's do it. I'm anxious. All right, let's so I've got it here. here. I'm going to play First it. time. Wow. All right, here we go. First time hearing it. Live. <laughs> you get it here first, folks. Yeah, she ain't. <laughs> Let me know when it's over. So, it's like... Hey, guys, and welcome to another episode of All Gen Gamers. I'm Happy Console Gamer, and I'm joined with Jason, the EMU Review. And uh, we're joined by Pete's Game Room, and we're also joined by Gamester8. Whoa, wait a second. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a second. What's going on here? No, we do not have John Gamester here, but we have Jen from Game Deals. Uh, oh welcome, God. Jen. Awesome to have you on. Thank you for having me. Welcome. Yeah. And, uh, the first gaming it? female. How about that? Yes. I'm not sure if I can handle that kind of pressure. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but... What do you what do you guys want to do now? You want to talk about like games we've been playing recently? I I honestly feel a little inspired. I think I would like to try something really crazy. Mm -hmm. Um, I want to spot. Well, um, let's see. Wait, what? What? I really do want to, and I want to say, um, I mean, hardcore. What the fuck? <laughs> um, no. <laughs> Please, it'll. It'll be epic. Oh man, this is good. This is good. <laughs> what the fuck? I, I, I'm speechless. I really am. It's gonna get to, uh, so. Like, uh, I mean, uh, are you gonna? <laughs> I'm so excited. Wow, chicka wow, yeah. Like a like a banquet room or something in the hotel or some small like conference room or something you know what i mean yeah Wh whatever you know even just do it in the, the parlor suite of the the game deals yeah <laughs> this is gonna be pretty sweet i'm, I'm really excited for it <laughs> oh yeah i'm dying <laughs> you know so anybody who listens to the show like try to come out for this like this is a really big event it's, it's a lot of fun i'm ready to go oh <laughs> listen to that enthusiasm he's very excited about it sweet you guys sit on the couch have a cup of coffee, have a smoke, relax. You know, I'll put on some tunes for you and you can watch me. Oh, hold on, God. hold on a second here. Am I gonna like stick my face in this ass? Oh my God. <laughs> Give me a minute here. Hold on. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Rubbing it in there, Pete. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Oh my God, what the hell? Holy shit, it's, it's Oh! Fuck. What the fuck are they doing? <laughs> oh, oh my god, um, I've never seen anything like this. This is awesome. <laughs> That's bizarre. It was right there in front of me, and I'm like, you know what, screw it. Thank you, Pete. <laughs> Ow. Did what? you need a hand over there? Yeah. Um, go down. <laughs> nice. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Uh, just gets bigger and bigger. Yeah. I love it. I just, I don't want this to get smaller. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's getting absolutely huge. It's huge. Suck it up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's going to come out eventually. I, top of my head? Yeah, somewhere right in that range. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, God, God of War. <laughs> oh. oh, Jen. Jen, Jen, uh, spread it. <laughs> yeah. Yes. yes, there we go. Nice. Guys, you got to see it. Somebody Complain found it. a secret. Holy crap, this is the godsend of gaming. I don't know why we didn't see that. <laughs> Push. Yeah. Nice. Harder. Oh. Yes, harder. Oh, my God, harder? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, sorry, cut in real quick. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, so, so Jason, you <laughs> sucked me in. Oh, shit. Oh, holy crap. Yes. Pete, whoa. Well, yeah. Pete, what? Well, uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my god. Uh, oh, my god, it's finally coming. Yes. There it is, guys. Come on, that's it. Ready. Yeah. Aim. <laughs> fire. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. 
Oh. <laughs> Hello? Oh my god, that scared the living shit out of me. <laughs> I did not expect that. <laughs> and that was a pretty big release. Yeah, wow. And I'm just going to clean up. I just finished. <laughs> Holy shit, this is a taco. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot to look at. Guys, you got to see it. Okay, yeah, that's it for me. It looks pretty. I love it, but it's killing my eyes. <laughs> okay, okay, John, okay. Yeah, that's bad. Wow. Yeah, that's nasty. But it was the best ham sandwich I've ever had in my life. <laughs> I really never had any complaints about it, so. It looks amazing, I have to say. Like, you can feel the sense of depth. So you look down at this big, huge expanse, and it's it's unbelievable. It's It felt okay. I can't wait to do this again. I am still a little bit hurt. I got the meat of the experience. Oh, you, oh, you just reminded me of something <laughs> else. At PAX, they had the ACAM, the Classic Arcade Museum. Oh my god. Vito, you are a crazy the son end, of a dude. bitch. You are crazy. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sorry you missed that shit, dude. I should have been there. <laughs> I left out. No, oh. It's funny. That's How hilarious. long did that take you to make? My god. Uh, quite a while, quite a while. Oh, my mouth hurts. Dude, Jason, got to put that on YouTube for sure. That's yeah, hilarious. I will. I will. Yeah, I think there was a part there in the beginning near the setup where it cut out. Yeah, I accidentally hit the wrong button over here. Oh, okay. It's like three seconds. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good stuff, though. Good stuff. And uh, just to correct uh, Pete Dore, the origins of the I'll be aligned for that shit was originally on the the Halloween podcast where you guys were talking about 3D Star Wars. <laughs> and oh, Johnny was yeah. like, oh, man, that's that's going to be garbage. What is that? And then Pete was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to line up for that shit. That's right. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's where that it's was the I know that, that because <laughs> that was the podcast that I manipulated. Nice. That's fucking awesome. So, Don't yeah. ever stop doing these. Keep on. They're fantastic. Yeah, yeah, I know they take a long time, but animal, you know, I'll keep doing them. Maybe even awesome. if you do one a year, it's good. Like this is so amazing. <laughs> it's so funny, it's dude. So funny. Definitely. Well, Vito, gotta... great, great having you on, dude. Thanks for all your work and <laughs> yeah, thank you. Definitely a lot sure. of fun. Hey, totally man, thanks a lot. It. I'm a big fan. I look forward to the podcast every week. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Awesome. Thanks, man. That was awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, take it easy. Ciao. Later. Yeah. Later, That's bro. hilarious. That's good stuff Dude, right there. Do you have to play that for Jen, Johnny? What's that? Play, play that for Jen when, when, when next time you're with her. I got to tell her about that for sure. So <laughs> when, I, when I heal up and I'm able to leave the house, I'll go and uh, yeah. go to Jane Deals and tell her. <laughs> it's funny because I played it for my girlfriend, for Kim. And she's like, oh, my God, it sounds like you're having sex with Jen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no. It's, it's, it is so kind of surreal. It actually sounds a bit real. It's kind of yeah, kind of fucked so up much stuff. Yeah, it's funny. So just, just, uh, Tom, I'm just going to find a question here for this okay. dog thing. Play a, in the meantime, Jason, play another one. Or uh, bring someone else in for a quick quick question. Yeah, you guys... I can't get over how long that was, though. Jeez. That was like five minutes. Great. There's another clip for him to use in the next one. <laughs> so funny. Oh. Um, let's see. Okay. Let's see if I can get one on here. Do, do, do. All right. Hey, Austin, are you there? Can you hear us? Yeah, I am right here. Oh, excellent. All right. Well, we have Austin here. So thanks for being on the show, Austin. Oh, it's my pleasure, man. So uh, you wrote in here. You had a question. Um, your first question there, I think. Or uh, was see. No, 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 no. Your third question. What about online? Oh, yeah. Why don't we go with that one? That, that's a good one. All right, yeah, I kind of had this question whenever I think I was talking to you, Jason, a while ago about Bad Company. And, uh, well, I don't know who you'd be talking about or talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> I was on Facebook a while ago about um, kids who get online and they just blabber and blabber. Yes. Yes, I do remember that. Yeah, so I just wondered, what is you guys' like, biggest pet peeve online? Whenever playing online, biggest pet peeve while online gaming. Yeah. 
blatant racism, <laughs> blatant racism, <laughs> uh, you name it. And, and those, those little kids. Okay, the little kids. I fucking yeah. hate the little kids on online games. It just drives me nuts. Jason, yeah. what do you think? Completely agree. Yeah. It's either that or it's um, audio microphone problems. They, they just leave the mic on or it's just fucking they got music blaring or you know just really ruins the experience but yeah. definitely top of the list yeah the kids who are on there that are not respectful racism and they're just being completely ridiculous that really bothers me yeah, yeah. Agree. totally agree what about you John um, you know when you're playing someone like Mortal Kombat or, or Street Fighter and then they just drop out a match before you're able to beat them oh yes yeah. You know, and they ditch out on you. That sucks too. That's bullshit. Bugs me. How about you, Pete? Spawn campers and people that yell at you when you're not performing up to par. Like if you buy a new online game and it's one of your first times playing, and they start like screaming at you for quitting, you know, for sucking at the game. Can't stand that. Yeah, I hate latency problems too. You know, lag issues. That's inevitable mm-hmm. though. You can't really fix that. You know, the, the the funniest experience I had online um, uh, in memory was when PlayStation Home finally went live. And uh, you guys know that there was such a big build-up to PlayStation Home. Like, I thought it was going to be the next renaissance of video gaming. I, I honestly did. You know, lobbies where you could meet people and all this great kinds of stuff. Um, you know, virtual communities, all this amazing stuff. Sony spent millions of dollars working on it. It was delayed, 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 because they wanted to get it right. And then the very first night, I finally, you know, they finally said, okay, come online, come to our incredible world that we've created. It's amazing, the, you know, the things you'll be able to do and all this great stuff. And I got online, I made my avatar, I went out the front door, and the first thing that happened is three people came running at me, started circling my, my, my avatar, just saying the N-bomb. And I'm, you know, like, <laughs> over and over and over, and then they're on their microphones and ran off. And I stood there, and I'm just like, yep, welcome to the virtual online community of Sony. Totally, it's, right there. Yeah, you know, it's just like, jeez. And I, you know, I, I went on, I stayed on for about a couple hours, and I was done. I never went on the PlayStation Home again. I just thought it was a disaster. You know, it was fucking, that was ridiculous. Yeah. Too funny. It's funny. So, good definitely. question, Austin. Yeah, Austin, how question. about you, man? What's what's your pet peeve? Um, pretty much anyone on Call of Duty. Just the way everyone acts on Call of Duty because there's so many people who own it. I guess it's yeah. just the way people act online. Just all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, be- it can become a problem. Elitists, right? People who are like 14 year old kids that sit on there like 24 hours a day. You know? Definitely. Well, yeah. hey, Austin, great, great question. Thanks for uh, listening and sending the question in. Thanks for having me on. Thanks, guy. Thanks, man. All right. Pretty cool. Good stuff. Johnny, how you feeling, buddy? Uh, I'm feeling pretty sick. Uh, I'm, I'm going to take off, but. I, I have I have one I, I, I'm gonna get John back for this. <laughs> okay, John, if you want to go to the All Gen Gamers and yeah. go and see the Love Talk questions, yeah, you're what, there? what? Yeah, what page? It would be the last page. Okay. Um, it's from Bar to Bar. And, and it would be post one thirty eight by Michael. <laughs> oh wow! Okay, this is like a novel here. This is by Michael. This is this, is, got... this is fucking perfect. Okay. <laughs> Okay, this is from Michael. At least he's got a very easy name to pronounce. Hey, Johnny. <laughs> that, that's, okay. that's where it's going to stop. That's okay, that's where it's going to stop. This is going to be great. And now it's the time of the podcast for Love Talk with Dr. Love, Giant Millennium. Dr. Love, how are you feeling? I'm not feeling too good, but uh, it's wonderful to see your shining face. This question is from Michael. Hey, Johnny. I kind of have a dilemma. I've been dating this girl for three years now, and things have been up and down. It's not her fault, though. Really, it's her parents. They're kind of fucked up. From racist comments to insulting her, and sometimes worse, things haven't been the best. I do love her, though, and I do have fun with her. I mean, if I have been putting up with it for three years, I better. Here's the issue, though. During the summer, I barely get to see her now. I've been I've seen her once, and I've been on summer break for about five to six weeks now. However... I've been hanging out with the other girl that I really have a good time with her. I never cheat or anything, but emotionally, 
it's becoming mixed really quick. This girl has told me that she likes me and all, and we have still been great. Until recently, though, she has been acting different, and I think she just doesn't want to get too attached because I'm taken. The thing is, though, I really don't want her to become distant. If anything, I want her closer. So what am I asking? What I'm asking is to do, I say, with this girl who I've loved for three years and I have been having a depressing time with right now because of her parents. Or should I go with this other girl who I can actually hang out with and have fun? Have you ever been in a similar relationship when your parents are really, really bad? Johnny, to you. <laughs> all, all, all I gotta say is this: What kind of fucking question is that? It doesn't even make any sense. This guy doesn't know what he's asking. It's the. It's like. What? Yeah, what, what did you take? Okay, like I almost need some deciphering on the fucking question. I think. Okay, okay let me. And kind of. Uh, I think the um, cliff note version of that question <laughs> is. <Yeah. laughs> is he's asked? He's with a. He's with a girl currently who he's. He's obviously not very happy with because her parents are getting away. But he's, he's got this new chick who's in the picture who he's able to see more. I think he answered he a, answered his own question kind of exactly. essentially. You know? So. Um, <laughs> you know, it's a really weird one because he's bringing in like issues with the parents that have nothing to do with his relationship with the girl, really. Yeah. Not that I can see. Jason, what, what is your deciphering of this question? I I, I think that's the, that's just the main thing I need to understand is what the hell is this guy asking? Bang them both. Menage a trois. Yep. Oh right! Absolutely. Bring the, me, bring bring the mother in. That's and how Doctor Love does it. You know, grand it. Slam. bang them both. Yeah, grand slam. Right. They try right. to get the grandma. Remember, that's bring, the, the yeah. Home bring runner. in bring in the whole family. But um, yeah, like if I, I just don't get it. He doesn't even see the old girl anymore. He's hanging with some new girl. Just go with the brand new stuff. Let's get, let's move on with our lives. You know, yeah. Pete. What would you do? I don't even know what the question was. I was trying to understand it, but I couldn't even. I couldn't. I couldn't well, do it. this guy's—he's having anal sex with his girlfriend for the first time, and she kind of reverse cowboys him, and he doesn't know that it's going to happen, and uh, and so he's caught by surprise. I don't think that was the question. <laughs> Sometimes, like you know, what John's reading, I get confused, right? And I'm on a lot of drugs right now. Anything he says, it's always about anal. It's always about anal. Like that's. Half the love talk questions are anal questions, you know? There's a, lot so, of, there's a lot of confusion out there in the world. I try to straighten it all out. Pete, Pete this guy has a girl who he's been seeing for three years. He's not very happy with. Is Her parents are getting away. But she's out of town, apparently, for like, hasn't really seen her much. He's got this new girl in the picture who he likes hanging out with her. But she doesn't really want to get too close to him because he's got a girlfriend. So he's wondering what he should do. What would you do, Pete? Pete's confused, too. I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> just, 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 no, you do, you just anal sex. Just that's it. That's on the answer. Both of them, and then move on. Yes. Anal and, sex and all the way. I endorse that thing. answer. Put his hands on back. it. So, guys, thank you for having me on. I got to fly off, and thanks, thanks everybody for tuning in. Uh, I'm toast. I got to go lay down. I'm feeling. Terrible. All right, man. Get well soon. All right, bro. Get well. Thanks right. for coming I on, Johnny. To, I had to show yeah, up, but force myself to kind of be here. So. It's kind of one of those things. So, anyways, so, anyways, guys, till next time. Bye bye. Till next time. All right, take care. See you, man. Get well. Uh, check your messages that I sent you on Skype, Jason. Okay. That was nice of Johnny to oh. join us, though, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Wasn't expecting Sorry. that. <laughs> it was, it's funny though, because he couldn't laugh without being I in know. severe pain. I <laughs> know. <laughs> Sorry about that, Pete. I didn't get that message. Till drug time. All right. So, um, should we continue on with a question or two? This Let's is pretty it. nice, yeah, yes. you know, taking questions from the community live. Wow, this is pretty cool. cool. So, of course, we have the one, the only, Mr. Crow from the Retro Road Show. What's up, Crow? How you doing? Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Can't hear you, buddy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Crow. I hear him very, very low. Oh, Got it now? There we are. What's up, dude? Oh. There you go. What's up, man? How much? I was, I was so involved in love talk, I forgot to plug the microphone <laughs> in. <laughs> that, happens. that happens from time to time. <laughs> so you have a question there for us. I do indeed, Why my don't you most hit excellent that, friends. Huh? I, uh, first of all, you know, I just want to thank all you guys. Uh, I, I'm sure you guys realize it, but, I mean, look at the chat right now. You guys are like... 
a serious hub of, you know, it's just like a who's who going right up and down the line there. And uh, it's great that you guys can bring us all together in the same place. We can all hang out, party, have a good time. Uh, I think everybody just appreciates that. Definitely. Well, you know, that's what it's all about. I think, you know, all of us agreed. I think you put it right. It's just kind of a hub. We just want to hang out with everyone, have a good time, talk about gaming and, well, anal sex. <laughs> As it seems. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, yeah, I was going to ask you guys, um, just in the overall process of this, I know I've listened to it since episode one. Um, you know, there's been a few changes in the podcast and, you know, even in your individual channels and through the whole journey, is there anything that you guys would do differently or would you change anything up, go back in the past and switch it around? Or do you really just view the overall experience as, you know, just an, a really good thing that you wouldn't change anything about it? As far as the podcast or individual channels or both or what? Uh, I guess both, man. I mean, it seems like you guys have kind of grown, you know, with the podcast. It's uh, it's opened up this wider network around. I mean, you guys kind of were like, uh, you know, the, the four horsemen or whatever they called you back in the day. But, like, now it's definitely, uh, it's it's brought, uh, uh, I, I don't know how to say, some more cohesiveness to the, the whole uh, presentation. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think for me personally, as far as the podcast is concerned, I wouldn't really change anything at all. I think we've evolved. I mean, listen to the first couple episodes. Uh, it was rough because, <laughs> you know, we were kind of new to it. You know, we were virgins of the whole thing, you know. Well, we were uh, censoring ourselves as well, and it's kind of coincidental yeah. that the first uncensored episode we did was episode six. A lot of things happened in episode six, apparently, where we had John Jacobson yeah. on, Black Dog 7, and that was Jason's yeah. first episode. And John Jacobson was dropping a lot of F-bombs, and then we were kind of like, we kind of realized after that, we're like, you know, we shouldn't really censor ourselves, and I think Johnny could attest to that the most because... We all know Johnny likes to curse quite a lot on his show and all the things he says, <laughs> but I think it helps bring out our pers our true personalities more. Like most people seem surprised when I started cursing, but I usually don't curse too much in real life. But when I'm talking about stuff, you know, online, especially in online games, I quite I curse quite uh quite often. Yeah, I'm like Sailor. Bob Saget off the show, man. I right. uh, <laughs> <laughs> I keep it PG for YouTube, but when I get off, yeah. I'm definitely talking about uh, you know jokes sex with midgets and donkeys and throwing yeah. poop at stuff and, yeah <laughs> yeah i don't think you know um i mean in talking just with the all gen gamers you know the podcast itself i remember um and i've talked about this recently too i, I remember john coming to me uh, and saying hey you know uh, we're gonna start this this podcast it's gonna be really cool and we'd like to have you on the show as a guest and um i was like wow you know i'm flattered you know it's really cool and um, this kind of evolved into what it is now, and I wrote an intro for the for them, and I, you know, offered to help edit it and you know make it sound better because I was, I'm kind of an uh, an audio snob as most of you already know, so I was like, man, these guys deserve it to sound better, and I want to help out, and that's really what it was about. I just kind of joined in and helped, but then chemistry worked, and you know, these guys are like my my brothers, they're like my family, but you know, and getting to answer your question, really, I guess I wouldn't change anything, you know. Oh, I'm sorry, John. Are you crying? I'm sorry, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, sweetheart. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> um, I wouldn't change anything. You know, um, I, I think, I think it, it, it is what it is, and we we have evolved, but we keep the format that we do, and that is really no format. That is just to be who we are, get in front of the camera, uh, and same thing with our channels. Just talk about games we like, talk about culture, talk about gaming, talk about all this, and I think that works really well. And when you, don't, when you don't force something upon people and you don't force something out of these shows, you really get some uh, amazing content. And I think, I think we capture it because we just, we just do it. And that's it. you got to have a love for it. And um, that's it. I wouldn't change anything. i just keep it the same. Yeah, absolutely. Answer it. Yeah, it's really cool being able to watch you guys evolve from – I love that you know, all the podcasts are still up there because it's, uh, it's, it's still fun going back and listening to the first couple and – I especially like, you know, the the first run, probably maybe the first 10 episodes, uh, I listened to, I probably listened to them about four times, because, wow. I don't know, it's really, it's very tangible, like, listening to you guys find your groove, and I think, you know, as I was saying before, like, look at the chat room, there's, I'd say probably about 70% of the people in here are people from YouTube, or people who do their own sort of media, or uh, content generating, and uh, it's it's really educational on that end, too, it's really fun to listen to. Sure. 
Definitely. I appreciate Crow. Thank you for the kind words. Yeah, you're a good Thanks. dude, Crow. Appreciate it. It's awesome. Yeah, that totally, from you. dude. Stay rad. Thanks for having me on. Hey, well, where where yeah. can people find you, Crow? Uh, it's uh, it's on YouTube, uh, youtube.com slash retro roadshow, and I just do a little uh, little show on there. I'm just a uh, your average time traveler from the '90s checking out the blast from the past. So yeah. Yeah, you guys hey, have great Crow. content on there too. So you guys check them out, definitely. Crow, how's your band doing, man? Uh, it's doing all right. We uh we just ousted a guitar player, so now I'm singing and playing guitar. So it's uh, uh we're kind of playing pickup right now, just because I got a lot of stuff to learn. But we're I mean we're in the studio, we're laying tracks down and stuff like that. So I'll probably have some uh some tunes and stuff. And I gotta throw some of my old tunes up on the tube anyways, just uh, cause I've had a lot of people ask me about it and stuff. So yeah, but it's it's doing well. If you guys want to check it out, the band is uh, Sumerian. It's a uh, C I M M. E R I A N, and uh, you can find us on Facebook, uh, MySpace, Ancient MySpace, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, we got some tunes out there. They're really rough. It's like, uh, man, I, I got in the band and uh, it was like a month later, actually like three weeks later, I had written the lyrics and I was like sitting there with a notebook, like tracking stuff, like right there reading my own lyrics that I had just written. So, cool. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's it's fun, man. I got I do a lot of music. I uh, definitely Jason, man. We need to do something sometime. Yeah, man. Um, I'm down for it. Yeah. You know, we can figure it out in private and whatever. But I I definitely I'm getting up, you know, kind of more up to par on my audio capturing capabilities. So we can definitely send some tracks back and forth and maybe do a collab on something. You know It'll me. I'm I'm up for that. I'm down for that. Sounds cool. Yeah, I'd like to work with you. For sure, dude. Right on. Well, Crow from the Retro Road Show, definitely. Thanks for hanging out, dude. We appreciate the support, dude. You're awesome. Yeah, thanks, dude. I'm always a big fan. Rock on. We'll see ya. All right. Later. He's a good guy. Speak, speaking of MySpace, though, you hear that Justin Timberlake bought MySpace or part of it? Big investor in it? I had no idea. Yeah, for 35 mil. Jason, read wow. your... Uh... I had no idea. Yeah. Well, who uses MySpace nowadays? I mean, it was, it was like was number one before... Facebook and now like no one uses it anymore. I uh, actually been thinking about I've been getting a ton of spam emails from MySpace right now recently. I don't know if you guys have because I, I mean I have a, I had a MySpace and then they reconfigured it like four years ago right and changed the profiles around and it's totally different now. And my yeah. page was all fucked up and text was all over the place and pictures were because yeah. I hadn't converted over. I haven't logged in like five years. Yeah. So I was like, should I just shut this thing down? Does anyone even use MySpace anymore? I don't know. I know I don't. But I thought, eh, I don't know. It's kind of tough. Dude, Jason, your mom is so fat. She's too fat for MySpace. <laughs> I just made I'm that not, up. You know what? I made that up earlier. <laughs> you motherfucker, you've been pissing me off for this too long. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what's going on? You know what? Let's see. You know what's you know what pisses me off, John. You know you sitting what's here that? telling me all these damn jokes. Your mom is so damn ugly. After her birth, the doctor slapped her mother. <laughs> your your sister's so ugly, Jason. She walked into a haunted house, came out come, came out with a job application. That's how ugly she is. They wanted her to work there. <laughs> you know what? Your mom's so stupid. She got fired from the M&M factory for throwing out all the damn W's. Oh, uh, dude, you mom was like a brick. Fought on both sides, slave by construction workers all day long. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? Something happened to your microphone right now. Uh-oh. It sounds uh -oh. like asshole. Jason, we have dude, a mom's, special... Your mom's, Pete, your mom's so fat. When she jumped in the air, she got stuck. Thank you, I know. <laughs> hey, Jason, can you hear me? Did you hear that last one? You say that one again. Your mom was like a brick, flat on both sides, gets laid by construction workers all day long. <laughs> oh, your mom was like a bowling ball. Remember, pick her up, finger around, throw her in the gutter, she still comes back for more. Your mom was so fat, she used the mattress for a maxi pad. Your mom was so fat, her blood type ragu. <laughs> your mom was so... Whoa, what the fuck? I, I don't get that one, never mind. <laughs> Something with your mama has ten fingers on the same hand, but there's no beginning punchline, so I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> right, let's take another question. Okay. Wait a minute before we do that. All right. Yeah, okay. We have a special. Sorry if I was too loud there. That's right. You pissed me off, John, because I got, I got papers, motherfucker. I got Dude, papers. he's all, he's all working. We, we have a special announcement. 
we're going to have a fourth person fill in for Johnny for the remainder of the show. Jason? Yes, working on it. Checking Skype, yes? Yes, working on it. Could it be? Could it be? Raw man! I knew it! Nice. Robert Munn! Hello, everybody! What's up, Rob, man? Not much. How y'all doing? Doing very well. Pretty good. Awesome to have you on. Oh, thanks for having me. It's great to be here. You guys have been rocking it all night, man. <laughs> you know how we do, rocking it. Absolutely. It's like a big old party. Mm-hmm. I just thought I'd see if I could pop the, in and say hi. The rooms are blowing out, Rob. Are they? Ooh, yay, Robin. Yay. Robbie. Hi, everybody. <laughs> so good to be here. I'm re- 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 really excited to be here. Yeah, I'm <laughs> really happy that you're here too, Rob. So you know, we're doing all kinds of crazy stuff. We're taking calls. We're 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 interconnecting with the uh, the community. You know how we go. So I'm trying to line up another question here. Cool, cool. Let's do it up. He's got the same mic as me. I think we all have the same mics. Jason, except for you. Except for me, I have my my beautiful my beautiful girl here. Oh, oh, mom. <laughs> <laughs> you get in here first on the All Gen Gamers podcast. All right, so hey, we're bringing in another question here. We're talking to looks like David. David, is that you? Yeah. Hi, David. Hey. Welcome uh, to the show. Fun. David, what's going on? Uh, not much, you know. Uh, pretty. Great podcast, guys. Uh, it's almost 5 a.m. here. Hey, wow. now see, now that's dedication, David. Oh, come on, round of applause for that. Five in the morning. Come on, well, good, good man, good man. We appreciate that. We appreciate. I think that. next, yeah, we need next time we need to make it more time friendly. Maybe we can do it during the afternoon on the weekend. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Try to work it out. It's hard to we'll do. Try. Our it's schedules hard to do. are screwed up, but it is yeah. hard to do. No, you guys are worth it. I mean, the podcast is great, guys. Oh, I appreciate, appreciate it. Thank you, David. So, so David, you had a question here, and I think your your first question is good. So, why don't you roll with that one? Yeah. Um, how would you approach games that got uh, bad reviews? I mean, would you buy it, or would you let negative reviews um, affect your opinion? I mean, one of the games I had, for example, recently was uh, Duke Nukem Forever, which I know some of you guys got that. Definitely, definitely. I know I picked it up day one. So you you want to know how we approach buying uh, a game that has negative reviews, or what are our thoughts on that, or? Yeah, like, would you let um, negative reviews uh, make your opinion more? Like, would it affect your... Yeah, that's a good question. Or would you get it regardless just to find out what you think of it based on your opinion? Because I know sometimes reviews can be a bit, uh, you know, weird for that. Yeah, well, I think that's a big question. And and, and even talking, like you were saying, about Duke Nukem Forever, I think that has stemmed, um, you know, a lot of people to either get it or not get it. And this and that, but I think in general, and I guess I'll start just just for in general. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll like look on YouTube, I'll watch trailers, maybe some gameplay. You know, I'll, I'll look into it. Uh, but the thing is, is I have always been this way. I want my own opinions always. I don't really care what anyone else says about a game. I need to find it out on my own. So, will it affect me buying it? If I want to invest in it and experience the game, I'm going to buy it, whether Joe Blow thinks it's bad or not. I always want my own opinion on it. So, take for instance Duke Forever. I love that game. I I still play the game. I highly enjoy the game. It's it's been the worst bash game since who the hell knows when? Maybe Wii Music. You know, I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) That game was fucking terrible. (laughs) It was terrible. But you know, um, you know, I that's just my opinion. I'm I'm definitely going to form my own opinion. So I don't know. What about you, Pete? I want to hear about yours, Pete. What do you think? When I am looking forward to a game and I have my mind dead set that I'm going to buy that game, uh, usually the reviews will do nothing to deter me. Like, for example, Earth Defense Force, Insect Armageddon. I have no idea what the reviews are like. I'm probably not even going to check because I'm going to go buy that game probably this Friday. Um, And then I'll play it and find out for myself if I like it or not. So, no, reviews really don't do too much for me anymore. Do I look at them? Do I read some of them? Yeah, to maybe, you know, give me an idea of what the game's going to be like, but if it sounds like a game that I'm going to enjoy, if the game got a 4 out of 10, 5 out of 10, I don't care. I'll still pick it up. Look at me. I bought almost every 3DS launch game, and what, three games out of the 14 that launched had a review score that was above a 7, you know, and 
I yeah, enjoyed a majority of them. That's true. John? Well, I mean, that's a perfect example. Uh, like, Asphalt 3D, I mean, you picked that up, right? And the reviews for that were yeah. under par. I plan on reviewing that. That's actually one of the, the worst reviewed 3DS games, but I'll tell you, it's, it is it is an unfinished game. What can I say? Um, it's got some really great gameplay elements to it, but um, it's unfinished, and it's kind of kind of worthy of some of the review scores it got, unfortunately. Hmm. I think for me personally, um, I, I kind of value more of the YouTube community games, like, like opinion of a game rather than like professionals. I mean, I'll read like IGN and what they have to say, but like Pete said, and I think uh, Jason mentioned as well, it won't necessarily deter me from, from buying the game. If, if, I want, if I'm dead set on buying a game, I'll most likely get it. Kind of similar with movies. I've noticed like movie reviews are always off from what I like. You know? Same kind of thing. Yeah. I think there's a lot of politics involved with like big game reviewers. I think, you know, like Capcom and stuff, they probably pay them and smooth them to give them good reviews, you know? I don't know. I always think there's, you never know what's going on. It could happen, uh, you know, yeah. in this day and age. Rob Man, too. You know what? I'm, I'm very much like you, John. I absolutely don't listen to the reviewers. Uh, a lot of the times, hello, everybody. A lot of the times, um, <laughs> sorry, I was being asked to wave hello. Uh, I, I will look at newspaper reviews for movies, and what bothers me is, especially with movies, they don't like it unless it's an art piece that's meant to change the existence of your soul. Hmm. Cool. Sounds good. The wrap-up. <laughs> he locked up. Okay. I go to a movie to see... Uh-oh. 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 Hmm? <laughs> Robin, we can't hear you. Can I hear you, buddy? Jump in there. Can't What's wrong? Uh oh. Did you lose me? Am I here? Yeah, you're locking nope. up. Uh -oh. There you are. You're there now. Am I back? You're back. You're back. Okay, that was very strange. Sorry about that. No um, worries. There, I'm a little closer to the microphone. Um, no, but but with, with games as well. If if the game or the movie looks good, if it's something that I think is going to be really fun and really exciting. I don't care what reviewers say. I have my own opinions to make on it, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna try it out and give it that chance. Um, I was sad to hear that Duke 3D was getting maligned so badly because, to me, the Duke franchise is all about humor and fun. It's not supposed to be the game changer. It's not supposed to be the the best game of the show or what have you. It's just supposed to be great. So to hear that that you, Jason, especially, you've been enjoying it. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Good because that you're exactly who it was made for. Yeah, exactly. The the people that enjoy Duke and the Duke franchise and just a, a mindless shooter, you know. <laughs> so, so so Rob, man, if, if Capcom were to make a new uh, Mega Man game and it got like terrible, terrible reviews, terrible, terrible, terrible. just terrible, terrible. Would, would you still go out and get it just because you're a Mega Man fan at heart, or would you? So that, that's basically what you're saying, right? You get it anyway. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely, I would. As a matter of fact, yeah. as as a bit of a shocker for people. Um, I did not care for the last couple of Mega Man X games. I'm going to be straight up honest. X7 and X8, I didn't really like. I have them. <laughs> They're sitting on my shelf, but I didn't care for them, but I had to have them because they're Mega Man. Right. So in that case, I will definitely buy them if it's a right. series I'm passionate about. So. And same with Sonic Repeat, I'm sure, right? <laughs> well, all right, yeah, I guess you can say so. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Well, hey, hope Good that answered your question David. there, David. Yeah, thanks. thanks for calling in. Yeah, thanks a lot, guys. You really uh, answered it. Great. Thanks. Have a great I rest of your uh, night, morning. Uh, sure, well, <laughs> you guys. Thanks. See ya. Yeah. I, appreciate, I appreciate those guys staying up late for us. Yeah, you know, definitely. That, that really awesome. means a lot. I mean, that, that's some dedication right there, so definitely. Oh, my God, 5 in the morning. Uh, I see that regularly, but that's when I wake up, not when I go to bed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know anything about being up till four or five in the morning playing games with anybody, Pete, or or anybody. Yeah. Oh, can we can we talk about that right now, Pete? Can we mention it? Yes. Some, some people like, already know. Yeah. They, some some people already know. Okay. You guys all know, or maybe you don't know, because the podcast isn't out yet. Anyway, um, I got my own dedicated server for Battlefield Bad Company Two. So now I'm in there. I'm admin of a server. I'm controlling the game experience which is great I'm switching maps when I feel like I want to and I'm not dealing with any more of the bullshit it's fantastic so Mr. Pete Dore heard about that and then all of a sudden 
I see a friend of mine playing Battlefield. Who is that? It's Mr. Pete Door, and he's playing <laughs> Battlefield Bad Company 2. Pete, come on now. Come, let's, let's talk about it. What, what possessed you to get it? Hopefully it was my server. It was, well, you constantly talking about this damn game every single episode for the past year. And um, <laughs> I, was, I needed something for my PC to kind of, you know, it's a good-looking game for sure when you put it on maximum settings. And I haven't really been playing too much on my PC lately. Um, the only good-looking game I've played on it is Rift, so I kind of needed something to kind of, I don't know, show off what my PC can do. So I bought it on Steam because you can download the full game for twenty bucks. And um, uh, unfortunately, the game went on sale a couple of days later for five dollars after I bought it for twenty. But it's still definitely a lot of fun. Definitely worth twenty dollars. I've only played online so far. It took me a really long time to warm up to this game though, because this is truly oh, come on. one of my first uh, one of my first PC shooters. Like I don't really play PC shooters at all. Dude, this guy comes in. And has maybe four or five in the negative game and a negative score, right? KDR's down. Not that that matters in the game at all, to tell you the truth. It's Battlefield. But this guy is now, every game he's in the positive. He's, he's working as a team. He is holding down positions with us. We are taking bases. I mean, it's exactly how you're supposed to play it. Pete, I mean, he's a gamer. I mean, who didn't know? You know, you know that. So I'm The red dot site. It, pick it up. Red dot site makes a difference. But yes, anybody that wants to play with this, um, download Bad Company 2 Battlefield. Jason's got his own server. You can join in and play with us. Um, yep. It's live right now. You can even go search. It's called the Emulator Reviews 24-7 TDM. I have it on Team Deathmatch as of right now. It can be on anything. Um, but it's a lot of fun. You, uh, I think the best way really is to add... Well, add me on Steam, uh, which is probably the best, and I can give you information if you're interested. It's J-A-Y-S-U-N-169 is my Steam ID. So you can add me there, and uh, we can go from there. But not to interrupt you, Pete. Definitely fun playing with you. No, yeah, the game's a lot of fun. I'm finally glad I, I picked it up. And um, th I just want to mention that this is the closest game I've played, even though it's first person compared to SOCOM's a third person. But this is the closest thing I've played to the original SOCOM games in terms of teamwork, just the feeling of camouflage in the bushes and the level designs and such, which is definitely a good thing. Awesome. Jason. You got, you're going to have to get it, uh, John. And Yeah, I'm going to have to check it out. Yeah, for sure. Sounds cool. If you guys have a you know PC, it'd be definitely fun to play. Let's bring in another call here. We I know we let's probably do have that. a yeah, ton let's of do people. That. I've got I've got one I got one queued up here. We have we have Mikey with us joining us today. Mikey, what's up, dude? Not much. Thanks for being on the show. Mikey, what's up, man? Not much. So uh, you have okay. So I'm just gonna tell everyone. Mikey has sent me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can't even count them. This guy sent me like. <laughs> 400 billion messages. Questions. <laughs> All pretty good questions, too. So, you know, I said, I wrote, I'm going to go, dude, fucking pick one of these. Just pick one of these. Pick a good one. <laughs> so, Mikey, I'm leaving this up to you. Dude, just pick one and just, we'll answer it. How about that? Okay, sounds good. Um, if reincarnation was real, which game would you be reincarnated in? Like, uh... Which character? Would, in other yeah, words, like if you, character? yeah, if you which die... World? If you were to die and be reincarnated into a video game universe, that's what you mean, mm -hmm. right? Yep. I guess this like question is... Take like Final Fantasy, any, anything in the universes of that, like Final Fantasy 7 or 10. Yeah, that's cool. Hmm. That's a, that's a tough question. I know I've we've answered had, this actually, in the past, yeah. We, we've had a similar question to this, yeah. This is just hmm. a new way of rephrasing I'd it. I'd have to... Maybe Johnny Blade. Mortal <laughs> Kombat. Only because you know S S Sonya. I mean, she's my she's my bitch. You know, she's my girl. So give me opportunity to rub shoulders with her. You know, and uh... how about Chun Li? You know, Thunder. Thigh? Oh, Chun Li. That's true. Maybe Dude, I could be Guile. Those yeah. Thunder thighs, any day of the week. Any thunder day. thighs. I have a new unique answer. I would like to be reincarnated as Knights in Knights into Dreams, so I can fly around through rings. No Sonic. No Sonic, because I want to fly. Oh yeah, that would be fun. I can't think of anything. Rob, you got man? something? You know what? I'd actually want to be Simon Belmont from Castlevania 2. Nice. Which, by the because way... there'd be all sorts of villages and cities to explore. I'd be able to, like, throw holy water and smash down some walls, get my flame whip on, go kick Dracula's ass, and I could go <laughs> day and night, so, you know, it's like a 24-7 world, the party keep pumping. It'd be good times. July 5th, today, is the 15th anniversary of Nights in the Dreams. 
just wanted to mention oh, it. Oh, cool. <laughs> wow. I would probably, you know, and this is one of my all-time favorite games. It's 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 for the atmosphere, it's for the level design, and it's for the ambience. And I'm, I've picked this as a lot of my answers in the past because it just really stands out to me. I'm going to pick it again for this one. I would love to be in the uh, Donkey Kong Country world. Oh, wow. I just bought that game the other day. It's a great game. It's a fantastic game. It's one of my favorite on the console. I just love the levels. I love, um, you know, everything about it. It's, it's like, you know, it's 2D side-scrolling, but it, the levels have so much depth. That to me, it almost feels like an adventure game. He's got a huge crush on Dixie, Dixie Kong. You know, Jason told me off. off I don't know. Camera, I don't know why he's talking about that. I'm gonna pull out my your mama joke papers again. This is pissing me off. <laughs> <laughs> a Dixie eye, yeah, she eye. You know, she eye. She got that like little helicopter right. thing going. Yeah. I heard she goes ape shit in the bedroom though. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. <laughs> okay, what's with all the monkey business? Oh, game? So God, come on oh. Nice. Hey, Mikey. Well, well, Thanks for hanging out. Great questions. Anytime. Thanks for all of them. Yeah, uh, great you're, question. I know you're a big supporter of the show, and I know you're also a big supporter of my music. I really appreciate that. So thanks for hanging out. Thanks for coming on the show. Anytime. Thanks. See you, dude. See you. The EMU cat. Oh, shit. Check it out. Bella's hanging out. What up? Say hi to everybody. Is that the techno kitty? Wow. <laughs> 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 Yeah, this is my uh, my my uh, EMU cat. This is Bella. She loves hanging out with Daddy, no matter what he's doing. You know. I hear her on Battlefield. All of a sudden, I hear meow, and then I, Jason's like, "Yep." <laughs> Dude, I'll, I'm playing like this, right? She just hops up on the chair, or she just just hops up in my lap, and I'm like bragging, just going to town. She's just there, like, mm. she watches. She's crazy. She's crazy. So, yeah, that was good. So, what's up, guys? Anything else? I mean, I've got. Lots of people here. I'm trying to... Bring in more. Bring in more. All right. These people take the time to listen and want to talk to us on Skype. Bring them in. All right. We should we used to start doing this Wales quick draw questions from Skype. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to start going down the list. I've Honestly, I have at least 60 people that have PM'd me here. So uh. I'm just going to go down the list and just start calling people. I can't even filter them anymore. It's just too much. Oh, I guess, yeah, I won't even mention it. I've got so many to get through, but... <laughs> if you want to submit a question, uh, you can do it via Skype. Uh, go and add add me here. It's it's for the All Gen Gamers. It's All Gen Gamers Podcast is the Skype name. So add me as a friend here. Um, and then send a text message, chat, via chat to me. Don't call me, because it's, it's just too much. And uh, I'll try my best to get you on. So get a question here. Good question, and we'll try to get you Pick on. Pick a question that you think we can answer... Quickly, quickly and to the point. Yeah, quickly and to yeah. the point. So hopefully that's that's what we got going on here. I'm bringing someone else in here right now. I'm bringing in. It looks like Joseph. Hello. Hey, can you guys hear me? Sure. Hey, can. Joseph. How you doing, What's Joseph? All right. Good. Thanks a lot for having me on. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. Sure, man. I really love the podcast. My question is to you guys: What makes a really good, memorable boss fight? And what are some of your favorite boss fights of all time? Good music. Yeah. All the bosses. Epic yeah. boss yeah. music. That's mm -hmm. all I need. Um, ones that come to mind, though? Hmm. Yeah, because when I think of my favorite boss fights, I always think Lavos from Chrono Trigger, oh. the first time I made it to Dracula in the original Castlevania, and definitely the first time I saw Bowser in Super Mario 64. Yeah. You know, yeah, the, I'm with Pete. Music, for sure. The one battle that always stands out to me, even though the song is a little overplayed for me now, um, but the battle against Sephiroth in Final Fantasy VII, just the epicness mm. in that fight, Watching Meteor come down for God knows how long, um, and you know, hearing the music for the first time. The first time you fight Sephiroth, it's like holy shit. That that battle's pretty epic. So that would probably be my answer for now. I'm with you, Pete. Yeah. I think music is key. It really sets the mood, sets the tone. Being, you know, being challenged is a good. You know, challenging is a good thing too, but not like impossible challenge. That pisses me off. You know, what's so a game recently of... or game recently? You said you had a really hard time with. Did you say? Yeah. Well, or was that somebody else? I'm trying to think. Never mind. Maybe someone else. I thought one of you know. mentioned it's like, I fucking died like 400 times at the boss or something. <laughs> yeah, right now I'm stuck at the Megas Twins in Final Fantasy 2. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't remember. That's a, that's Jason's a like RPGs, I, I don't know, whatever. 
Dude, it I comes know. down to, for me in RPGs. It's it's either uh, Chrono Trigger, Super Mario RPG, or Final Fantasy three or six for all the fucking Final Fantasy Nazis. 